주의 사랑을 실천하고 이것이 우리의 삶의 가장 기쁨이 되어야 됩니다 예배드리는 것이 너무나 좋고 말씀 보는 것이 너무나 좋고 찬양하고 기도하는 것이 너무나 좋은 것이 우리의 삶의 모습이 되어야 되는 것입니다 참석자들은 17일 대학 수학능력시험에 응시하는 수험생을 위해 또 취업을 준비하는 취업생들을 위해 그리고 안전한 대한민국을 위해 간절히 기도했습니다 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 믿음으로 무장한 성도들의 삶 가운데 감사의 축복과 은혜가 가득하기를 기대해 봅니다. FTV 뉴스 윤건입니다. 이영은 목사는 7일부터 9일까지 싱가포르에서 개최된 아시아 리더 서밋 2022에 참석해 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 위대한 부흥과 연대를 위한 방안을 논의했습니다. 계속해서 윤건이 리포터입니다. 아시아 교회여 성령과 함께 일어나라를 주제로 열린 ALS 2022는 싱가포르의 선교적 가치와 중요성을 재확인한 시간이었습니다. 싱가포르는 영어와 중국어, 말레이어, 타밀어를 공식 언어로 사용할 정도로 세계적으로 문화와 언어의 장벽이 거의 없는 도시국가입니다. 이영훈 목사는 사흘간의 일정 상당 기간을 교회의 미래 인재를 세워가고 있는 신학교들을 방문하며 학생들을 격려하고 축복했습니다. 첫 일정으로 이영훈 목사는 트리니티 크리스천 센터가 설립한 TCA 대학을 방문했습니다. 이곳에서 데니스 럼 총장과 도미닉 여 부총장의 안내를 받아 학교를 둘러봤고 또 강의실을 방문해 학생들을 격려했습니다. 계속해서 싱가포르 교회 리더들과 오찬을 겸한 교제를 가졌습니다. 이 시간 CGI 이사인 콩이 목사는 이영훈 목사에게 존경과 사랑의 마음을 담아 CGI 총재 취임 축하 표를 정했습니다. I just want to congratulate Dr. Yang Hun Lee for being the CGI chairman. We are so happy that the successor to Dr. Yang Hee Cho is Dr. Yang Hun Lee, a mighty man of God. Dr. Lee, we love you. All of Asia and the whole world, we respect you, and we are excited for your leadership to lead all of us megachurch pastors into the future. God bless you, Dr. Lee. 오후에는 액츠 신학교를 방문해 개교 45주년 감사 예배를 인도했습니다. 학생들과 교수, 또 말레이시아와 싱가포르의 목회자들이 함께한 예배에서 이영훈 목사는 사역에 있어 가장 중요한 것은 기도라며 기도의 삶을 역설했습니다. 설교 후에는 이 학교의 KCNG 총장에게 45주년 축하패를 전했습니다. 8일 오전에는 엔데믹과 아시아 교회의 주요 변화를 주제로 ALS 모임이 개최됐습니다. 모두 발언을 전한 이영우 목사는 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 큰 부흥을 위해 ALS의 역할을 강조했고 또 ALS 멤버십 확대와 이사회 구성을 위한 논의를 가졌습니다. We are all here. We are having a wonderful time. Learning together, we are grateful to be alive, to be healthy, and to continue to have this opportunity to serve Him. I want to encourage all of you, as long as God gives you life and health, please serve Him. God bless you. 같은 날 오후에는 복음주의 초교파 신학교인 싱가포르 바이블 대학을 방문했습니다. 이 자리에선 글로벌 엘림 재단에 대한 소개와 향후 협력을 위한 의견 교환이 있었습니다. 일정 마지막 날 마련된 컨퍼런스는 ALS 2022 초청 교회인 트리니티 크리스천 센터에서 있었습니다. 이 시간 말레이시아 글래드 타이딩 교회 빈센트 레오 목사와 국제 CCC 부총재 박성민 목사, 유홍형 목사, 코너스톤 커뮤니티 교회의 양턱균 목사가 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 재도약을 위한 발제를 가졌고 러스 마틴이 로잔 정신을 주제로 발표했습니다. 계속해서 ALS의 정신인 아시아인에 의한 아시아 보그마를 말하며 오직 성령과 함께 사명을 다해 가자고 강조했습니다. As we know, the most important part is the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, we cannot pursue the all our goals. 또 이영훈 목사는 코리아 스타일의 통성 기도를 설명했고 참석자들은 각자의 모국어로 주여 삼창을 외치며 아시아 교회의 사명을 위해 한 마음으로 기도했습니다. 
컨퍼런스를 마치며 ALS 총재인 이영훈 목사는 이번 2022 ALS 컨퍼런스를 주관한 싱가포르 트리니티 크리스천 센터에 감사패를 수여했습니다. What a joy and privilege it is to have uh, Dr. Yong Hoon Lee and the uh, Asian Leaders Summit happening right here in Singapore. God is doing something mightily among the Asian churches, and I thank God for what He's doing in Yoido Full Gospel Church as well. Once again, thank you and greetings right here from Singapore. 반가운 만남도 있었습니다. 우리 교회 출석하다 싱가포르에서 사역하고 있는 선교사 부부가 콘퍼런스에 참석했고 이영훈 목사는 이들을 안수하고 축복했습니다. 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 연대와 동방 부흥을 견인해갈 아시아 리더스 서밋의 역할이 주목받고 있습니다. FTV 뉴스 윤관입니다. 이영은 목사는 지난 30일부터 한주 동안 순복음 실업인 성교연합회와 교회성장연구소가 공동으로 주최한 튀르키의 성지순례에 함께했습니다. 김선태 리포터가 보도합니다. 튀르키에는 우리나라 면적의 8배 정도 되는 면적을 가진 나라로 이슬람교가 99%를 차지하고 있습니다. 아이러니하지만 이 땅은 예수님의 제자들이 활발하게 복음을 전하던 곳으로 사도 바울의 발자취가 남아있고 또 초대교인들이 신앙을 지키기 위해 무던히 애쓰던 곳입니다. 성지순례에는 우리 교회 성도들과 강남 분당, 송파 광명, 영상교회 목회자와 성도들이 함께했습니다. 첫 일정은 트리케의 수도 이스탄불에 있는 로마시대 대경기장 유적인 히포드롬에서 시작했고 계속해서 유네스코 문화유산에 등재된 성소피아 대성당을 방문했습니다. 이 성당은 그리스 종교회로 시작해 카톨릭 성당으로 또 오스만 제국 시기에는 모스크로 사용되었으며 현재는 박물관으로 쓰이고 있습니다. 또 300개의 석굴교회가 남아있는 괴렘의 골짜기에 가파도기아를 방문해 열기구를 체험했고 석굴교회 안에 들어가 신앙 선진들의 믿음을 본받기 위한 다짐을 새롭게 했습니다. 이 자리에서 이영훈 목사는 하나님의 은혜를 기억하고 영적 회복을 이루자고 당부했습니다. 우리가 풍요로움 속에서 이 하나님의 은혜를 잊어버리고 사는데 지금 사실은 코로나 일구로 말미암아 3년이라는 고난의 기간이 지나고 다시 회복의 때가 다가왔는데 이제 모든 교회가 영적으로 큰 붕이 있기를 간절히 소원합니다. 아멘. 참석자들은. 좋으신 하나님을 부르며 고난 앞에 신앙을 지킨 선진들의 믿음을 기억하며 온전한 그리스도인의 삶을 다짐했습니다. 같은 날 터키에서 사역하는 선교사들을 식사 자리로 초청해 격려하고 선교 지원금을 전했습니다. 다음 날 오전에는 호텔에서 수요 성찬 예배를 드렸습니다. 이 시간 이영훈 목사는 언제든 주님 앞에 서라는 면전의식, 코람데오의 삶을 당부했습니다. 코람데오, 하나님 앞에서의 의식이다. 하나님 앞에서, 내 구세주 예수님 앞에서 내 생각과 내 말과 내 행동이 모든 것이 주님을 바라보면서 주님과 얘기하듯이 얘기하고 주님 앞에서 일하듯이 일을 하고 주님 보실 때 잘하였도다, 착하고 충성된 종아 이 칭찬을 받을 수 있게 되기를 바랍니다. 설교에 이어 참석자들은 예수님의 몸과 피를 기념하는 성찬식을 가졌고 계속해서 이태원 참사 피해자들의 회복을 위해 또 칭찬받는 주님의 사람들이 되도록 기도했습니다. 이날 예배 때 드린 헌금은 전액 이태원 사고 피해자 가족들을 위해 드리기로 했습니다. 예배 후엔 소아시아의 일곱 교회 중 안디오 교회와 라오디게아 교회, 빌라델비아 교회, 성유한교회 등을 방문해 믿음의 선진들의 신앙과 마주했습니다. 어떠한 역경에도 굴하지 않는 바울의 전도열정, 또 초기교회 신앙 선진들과 마주했던 트리키의 성지순례, 신앙생활의 각오와 다짐을 점검하게 한 시간이었습니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 재능기부 나눔센터는 4일과 5일 양일간 캄보디아에서 코리안 드림을 이루고자 전남 화순에 정착한 이유정 씨의 보금자리를 깨끗이 수리해주고 돌아왔습니다. 이찬미 리포터입니다. 패션 디자이너가 되고자 캄보디아에서 한국으로 온 결혼 이주 여성 이유정 씨. 
소상농인 남편의 수입만으로는 생활비 마련도 어려웠고 가옥도 오래돼 너무 춥지만 가정 형편상 보일러도 많이 켜지 못합니다. 새벽녘 여의도를 출발한 재능기부 나눔센터는 현장 도착과 함께 사전에 세운 계획에 따라 낡은 창틀을 분리했고 곰팡이 가득한 벽지와 색바랜 장판도 걷어냈습니다. 골조만 놔뒀을 뿐 전체를 드러내고 시작하는 공사는 일사불란하게 진행됐습니다. 도배와 장판을 새로 했고 새 침대와 가구, 냉장고도 선물했습니다. 봉사자들의 손길이 닿은 집은 그야말로 황골탈태했습니다. 우리 교회 재능기부 나눔센터의 사랑의 섬김이 캄보디아에서 온 유정 씨 가족의 꿈을 잃어가는 응원가가 되길 기대해봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 이찬미입니다. 이번 주 선교지 소식은 1984년 브라질 깐포그란데로 파송받아 바나나 인디언촌에서 사역하고 있는 김용환 선교사가 보내왔습니다. 김용환 선교사는 39년간 한결같은 열정으로 인디언들에게 생명의 복음을 전하고 있는데요. 복음을 접한 많은 사람들이 성령을 체험하고 방언 기도를 하고 있습니다. 천막 교회로부터 시작해 지금껏 17개 교회를 세웠으며 많은 인디언 사역자들이 배출돼 각 교회를 섬기고 있습니다. 또 유치원 교육과 제자 훈련, 양육 사역을 통해 복음 전파에 힘쓰고 있습니다. 10년 전부터는 성령의 강력한 인도하심을 받아 깐포그란데 북쪽 인디언 부족 복음화에 나서고 있습니다. 코로나로 인해 잠시 중단했다가 올해 8월 재개됐는데 그곳에 가기 위해서는 비행기를 타고 6시간, 차로 380km를 달려야 합니다. 그리고 다시 배를 타고 엠비라강을 닷새 동안 거슬러 올라가야 합니다. 배를 타고 이동하던 첫날 배가 뒤집혀 모두 물에 빠지기도 하고 한 명이 다리를 다치는 등 어려움도 있었지만 하나님의 은혜와 인도하심으로 목적지에 다다를 수 있었습니다. 닷새 만에 아세니카 부족 마을에 닿았고 그곳엔 45세대가 자신들의 문화와 부족 언어를 가지고 생활하고 있었습니다. 그곳의 추장은 자신의 마을에 복음을 전하고 성전을 세워달라고 요청했고 김 선교사와 일행은 성전 건축을 약속하고 성경과 찬송가를 선물했습니다. 마데아 부족도 방문했는데 추장과 아들이 복음을 영접하고 성전을 세워달라는 요청을 했습니다. 복음 전파를 위해 39년을 달려왔지만 지금도 많은 사람들이 복음을 알지 못함을 보며 아직 쉴 때가 아님을 깨닫게 됩니다. 주님 오시는 그날까지 아마존 인디언 보그마를 위해 최선을 다할 수 있도록 기도 요청드립니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 순복음 선교회 이사장 이영훈 목사는 6일 전영훈 목사를 필리핀 선교사로 파송하고 축복했습니다. 이영훈 목사는 6일 원로 장로의 임원진과 만나 교회 부흥을 위해 한 마음 한 뜻으로 하나 되자고 당부했습니다. 루마니아 선교팀이 6일 우리 교회에 방문했습니다. 이들은 우리 교회 홍보 영상을 시청했고 평양에 건립하고 있는 심장병원 등에 대해 질문하며 북한 선교에 큰 관심을 보였습니다. 계속해서 대성전에 있는 조용기 목사 기념모를 견학했고 주일 저녁 예배에 참석했습니다. 수능을 한주 앞둔 10일 관악대교구는 대교구 산하전 기도처에서 자녀를 위한 1시간 집중 기도회를 갖고 입시와 취업 또 자녀들의 모든 삶을 하나님께 의탁하며 간절히 기도했습니다. 같은 날 양천대교구와 반석대교구도 기도원에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 감사가 넘치는 교구사역이 되도록 강구했습니다. 이에 앞선 8일에는 은평대교구와 마포 일대교구에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 성령의 충만함을 위해 간구했습니다. 또 3일에는 마포 이대교구에서 성령 대망회와 전도 발대식을 갖고 풍성한 복음 열매를 위해 전심을 다하자고 다짐했습니다. 같은 날 종로중구대교구도 성령 대망회를 갖고 더욱 견고한 믿음을 위해 기도했습니다. 4일에는 청장연국 장년대교구에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 늘 주님보다 앞서지 않고 늘 겸손한 마음으로 주님을 따라가는 삶을 다짐했습니다.
또 30일에는 새 성북성전에서 멕시코에서 사역하는 이유한 선교사를 초청해 성령 대망회를 갖고 사명을 새롭게 했습니다. 국제구호개발 엔조 구피풀은 6일 경북 구미강동교회에서 희귀난 안질성 질환 아동을 돕기 위한 구피풀 러브 콘서트를 가졌습니다. 이날 콘서트엔 마음 전파상이 참여해 바테르 중후군을 갖고 태어난 지우의 사례를 소개하며 나눔에 참여하도록 독려했습니다. 이번 주 오산이 기도원에서는 새일이 일어나는 영적 대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식은 여기까지입니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다. s o 들께서는 은혜로운 예배를 위해 핸드폰을 꺼주시거나 진동으로 바꿔주시기 바랍니다. 할렐루야 11월 둘째 주일 3부 예배 오늘도 은혜 주시고 함께 하실 주님을 바라봅니다. 예수님 한 분만 바라며 함께 찬양 올려드리시겠습니다. 어머니 주님은 해로 다채 찬양하라 모여라 주께 찬양하라 나의 귀한 친구여 주 이름 앞에 너도 손 모으고 앞에서 십자가 앞에서 모두 버리고 주님의 이름을 부르며 나갑니다 예수 예수 
주소서 수 없네 은혜 아니면 살아갈 수가 없네 보흠마저도 다 주의 것이니 세상 평안과 위로 내게 없어도 예수 오직 예수뿐이네 그 신계획 다볼수 없고 그 신계획 다볼 수도 없고 작은 곳 안에 지쳐도 고백합니다. 그 신계획 담을 수 없고 그 신계획 담을 수도 없고 작은 곳 안에 지쳐도 주께 묻기 나의 모든 삶 버티고 견디게 하시네 은혜 아니면 살아갈 수 없네 은혜 아니면 살아갈 수가 나의 모든 것 나의 모든 것다 주께 맡기니 참된 평안과 위로 내게 주신 주 예수 오직 예수뿐이 은혜 하나님께 감사와 영광의 박수 크게 올려드리겠습니다 할렐루야 울어도 못하네 울어도 못하네 눈물만이 흘려도 겁을 없게 못하고 죄를 씻지 못하니 울어도 십자가에 달려서 예수 고난 당했네 나를 구원하시리 예수밖에 없네 힘써도 못하네 말과 뜻과 행실이 깨끗하고 착해도 다시 나게 못하니 도 못하네 십자가에 달려서 예수 고난 당했네 나를 구원하시리 예수밖에 없네 참아도 못하네 알수 없는 죄인이 흉한 죄에 빠져서 어찌 아니 죽을까 참아도 못하네 십자가에 달려서 예수 고난 당했네 나를 구원하시리 예수 믿으면 되겠네 믿으면 되겠네 주 
저큰 바다보다 깊다 너구다 줄을 끌어 깊은 대로 저 한가운데 가보라 언덕을 떠나서 장파에 배 띄워 내주 예수 은혜의 바다로 내 맘껏 쳐가라 언제나 거기서 저큰 바다 물결 보고 그미 모르는 깊은 바다 속을 한 번에 야려 안 보나 언덕을 떠나서 장파에 배 띄워 내주 예수 은혜의 바다로 내 맘껏 쳐가라 같은 물가에서 저큰 바다 가려다가 잘싹거리는 작은 파도 보고 마음 약하여 못 가네 언덕을 떠나서 장파에 배 띄워 내주 예수 은혜의 바다로 내 맘껏 쳐가라 가거라 이제 곧 가거라 저 그늘의 바다 향해 자고 내 너를 저 깊은 대로 바라망망한 바다로 언덕을 떠나서 장파에 배 띄워 내주 예수 은혜의 바다로 내 맘껏 쳐 주를 안무하는 자 올라가 올라가 독수리 같이 모든 싸움이 이고 근심 걱정 못쓰는 올라가 올라가 독수리 같이 주 안무하는 자주 주의 영광 보리라 올라가 올라가 독수리 같이 주 안무하는 자주 안무하는 자주 안무하는 자네 
날마다 숨 쉬는 순간마다 날마다 숨 쉬는 순간마다 내 앞에 어려운 일 보내 주님 앞에 이 몸을 맡길 때 슬픔 없네 두려움 없네 날마다 주님 내 곁에 계셔 자비로 날 감싸주시네 주님 앞에 이 몸을 맡길 때 힘주시네 위로함 주네 나서 3절 주님 앞에 고백합니다 인생의 어려운 순간마다 인생의 어려운 순간마다 주의 약속 주의 약속 생각해보네 내 맘속에 믿음이 지 말씀 속에 말씀 속에 충만한 예배되기 위해 주여 삼창하며 통성으로 기대며 나가겠습니다 주여 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 우리 인생을 주관하시는 전대하신 하나님 아버지 모든 것 주님을 기억하며 주님 앞에 우리 모든 삶을 내어드리고 우리의 매를 주여 벌려드리며 나아갑니다 주님 아버지 하나님 시간에 하나님의 역사심을 함께 알려주시고 하나님을 여신사 놀라운 하나님의 인자 역사심을 간절히 감동하며 기도하며 주님께 모든 인생을 맡기는 영혼들마다 주님 만나주시고 하나님의 응답과 역사하신 가운데 구하는 견념이와 삶이 되어질수 있도록 인도하여 주시옵소서 성령이와 바람과 주님을 같이 생수가 주님 가운데 임하여 주시고 성령의 뜨거운 역사 가운데에 주님 앞에 올려주는 예배 되어지게 하여 주시옵소서 모든 힘의 순서 순서마다 성령의 시간을 해주시고 특별히 말씀 전하시는 다같이 목사를 해주는 기성 귀를 부어주셔서 말씀을 전해듣게 받아 우리의 영광 관자가 곳을 질러 쪼개는 말씀이 선포되어지게 하여 주시옵시고 그 말씀을 통해 주음을 듣게 하시고 우리 모든 삶이 변화되어지고 시험의 결정 되어지는 그 말씀 되어지게 하여 주시옵소서 모두 주님 한 영혼도 그냥 왔다 그냥 돌아가지 않냐고 주님 만나며 주님의 놀라운 성과 역사심을 누리는 견임에 되어지게 하여 주시옵소서 모든 영광과 찬양을 주게 드립니다 찬양하라 
Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me. O oh, bless His holy name. Give thanks, O my soul. Give thanks, O my soul. And all that is within me. Give thanks, O my soul. Rejoice, O my soul. Rejoice, O my soul. And all that is within me. Rejoice, O my soul. Good morning to all of our foreign guests worshiping with us in this service. This is Isaac, your interpreter for this service. We invite you to prepare your heart for the service by taking a few minutes to pray with us now. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lead not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Amen. Let us sing our opening hymn found on page 1. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. Now we will recite this the opposite creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the God the Father Almighty. From thence, He shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
You may be seated. Please turn in your hymn book to page 545. 545. The old hymn book is 344. Down in the valley where the mists of a doubt arise. I by faith can walk with God's victorious band. Those who call the real proofs elude my ears and eyes. On the promises of God I firmly stand. Walk we onward, walk in faith believing. Press we on, bravely on, cast off the doubt and fear. Press we heavenward, through our faith receiving. Proves more sure than any known to eye or ear. However, things may look to this poor human sight. If we trust His witness given, with the faith in Him still, then while we live undoubting, come within His might. In the Lord our deepest longings He will fulfill. Walk we onward, walk in faith believing. Press we on, bravely on, cast off the doubt and fear. Press we heavenward through our faith receiving. Proves more sure than any known to eye or ear. Faithful is God who swore by His own holiness. All the precious word to Jesus, follower given. Then unto us who trust in Jesus' name confess. What shall be impossible in earth to heaven or heaven. Walk we onward, walk in faith, believing. Press we on, bravely on. Cast off doubt and fear. Press we heavenward, through our faith receiving. Proves more sure than any known to eye or ear. Amen. Now, our elder, we pray for this service. Dear Heavenly Father, with the full of love and grace, we praise your name, we lift up your name on high, we glorify your name today. Our Father God, in this world of wilderness, we are living in here, but we face this Sunday. We'd like to arm our spirit today. That's why we came to see you today. Lord, instead of glorifying you, we had our own greed. We followed our own avarice. We followed the human thoughts. We repent all our sins today, Father. Come and forgive us. Oh, Father God, the Almighty God, make coronavirus disappear in this nation and the whole world. Stop the warfare in Ukraine, Father. Oh, Father God, help us to protect us from nuclear weapons of North Korea, Father. Oh, Father, due to global crisis, our countries are having crisis as well, Father. Oh, Father God, protect us and guide us today, Father. Let us get changed. Lord, come and help us. Dear Father God, in the midst of the will of God, you, may, you, you have elected new president. Pour your wisdom upon him, Father. Oh, Father God, let us have a stabilized economy and, and law, Father. Let us, have, let us have a peace and the life of prosperity today, Father. Father God, be with our branches and depart, department in this church. Let us uh, blow the wind of the fire of the Holy Spirit once again, Father, and revive our church. Our oh, Father God, be with our senior pastor, Young Oli, today. And you chose him as the leader of this church, Father. Our oh, Father, let him be the head of the preaching the gospel to the whole world, Father. Our oh, Father, dear Holy Spirit, let him receive the power of the Holy Spirit. Awake our church and, and recover our family today, Father. So let us, we may take the role of light and salt into the society, Father. Our oh, Father, God, be with our senior pastor, Young Lee, today. 
and pour your wisdom upon him. When he proclaimed the gospel today, change each one of our souls today, Father, as we listen to the message. Our Father God, be with our youth group and young adults group as well, who are the future of this church. Our Father God, be with our senior high school students who will take Korean SAT examination this week. Father God, be with our young people. Our Father, let us pray for the spiritual, re spiritual recovery, Father. We never cease to pray for this. Our Father God, and you know our circumstances, Father. Answer all our prayers. We have a financial problem and we have diseases. Lord, in this season of Thanksgiving, resolve all our problems today, Lord, as we pray before you. Our Father God, and be with all our people and bless each one of us. Be with our choir and their anthem and their orchestra today, Father. And be with the helping hands from men's and women's department as well. Pour your blessing upon them as well. Control the whole service, Holy Trinity, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. You are now worshiping in the third service today. We welcome you to the Yo the Full Gospel church and we pray that today's message and the choir will be blessing to you this is isaac bringing you sam and kenya's translation of this service so you may enjoy worshiping with us god bless you today The scripture reading today is found in the Old Testament, Genesis chapter 37, 18 through 20. Genesis chapter 37, 18 through 20. Let's read together. But they saw him in the distance, and before he reached them, and they plotted to kill him. Here comes the dreamer. They said to each other, Come now, let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Then we will see what comes of his dreams. Amen. You may now take off your headphones and enjoy listening to the choir.
Thank you for the precious anthem. Let's greet each other. Today is really a good day. Good things will happen to each one of us today. This morning, I would like to share a message under the title, Here Comes the Dreamer, based on Genesis 37, 18 through 20. Please repeat after me loudly. Here comes the dreamer. Here comes the dreamer. While we only live once, we have to live with the clear dreams and goals in life. No one lives twice. We must have a clear goal and clear purpose. All, what all people who have lived a successful life have in common is that they had a clear life goal and lived a life that did their best to achieve that goal. We must have a holy dream in the Lord. Have a holy dream and grab this dream and march it forward. The grace of, grace of the Lord will pour upon us. Faith and dream is just like one. Hebrew 11, which contains the record of the ancestor, now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commanded for. If you dream and if you plan for this, that is the faith. Hebrew 11 is talking about this. All our ancestors, forefathers of our ancestors had a holy dream. Have a holy dream and grab the dream and march it forward. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Joseph in the Bible was the boy with the many dreams. He always dreamed and lived talking about the dream. He always talked about his dream. His brothers who lived without any dreams hated Joseph. Genesis 37 and 5 says, Joseph had a dream, and when he told it to his brothers, and they hated, it, hated him even more, all the more, Joseph dreamed and believed that God would raise him to high place in the future. He proudly conf uh, confessed to his brothers, Genesis 37, 6 says, then said to them, listen to my dream I had. We were binding sheaves of grain the out in the field, and suddenly my sheep arose and stood upright while your sheaves gathered around the mine and bowed down to it. The older brothers heard about the story and younger brother's dream and hated him even more. 37 and 8 says, his brother said to him, do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he had said. The brothers had no dreams or visions for life. They just lived by day, day by day, tending their father's ship. That's all they did. They had no dream, they had no purpose. They just lived daily life like that, taking care of the flocks. But in the same circumstances, same environment, Joseph was totally different. But Joseph was a dreamer. He lived day by day, captivated by his dream. He has a dream, same dream over and over again. He had a conviction and talked about it. Have a holy dream in the Lord. Have a specific and clear dreams. Each one of, each one of you not just came here accidentally. Fulfill the purpose of God. You are existed because of the glory of you. You must glorify the name of God. Have a holy dream in the Lord. If you run your business, have a holy dream for your business. Students, as a doctor, as a businessman, as, as office workers, you must have a holy dream and grab the dream and march it forward and grace of the Lord will be poured upon you. Joseph had a holy dream. God will lift me up. I'm going to be a great person. I will, be, I will glorify the name of God. I have, an, I have an assignment. He had a clear dream and grabbed the dream and marched it forward. Let Help us not to live without a purpose. Even we live a one day. Let's have a clear dream and have the holy dream and march it forward. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, realize what the mission God has given each of you and dream concrete and brilliant dreams. Have a clear dream. If you didn't have any dream until now, from now on, have a holy dream individually, you're in your family, in your working places, in your business, for your children, have a holy dream, for your plan. Lord, let me have a holy dream and fulfill your mission. It will not just come true automatically. You must go through trials. When you have a holy dream, there's a challenge, there's a problems. 
When you have a dream, look at Joseph's brother. They hated him all the more. Even people surround you, around you, and try to shake you, you must hold on to the dream and march it forward, and grace of the Lord will be with you. Person with the dream, we have a compassion, we have enthusiasm. They will do anything for this dream in order to make our dream come true. We can do our best. Success will not just come. You must dream and believe and do your best. As a result, you will receive this dream will come true. You can surely overcome. You can march it forward. Joseph had a dream. Even he went through the trials. His dream came true. Joseph had a dream and doesn't make our dreams come true them, uh, themselves. We must make our best effort. Romans chapter 5 and 3 says, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character, hope. When you dream and when you believe it, it will become true. We can learn the perseverance. We can overcome. We can be well be we can be well trained. Then dream will come true. Joseph had a dream. His brother hated him. The Joseph had a four great trials while he was dreaming. His brother hated him and even tried to kill him. He was a little boy. It was really painful. Ten brothers made a plan to kill him and throw him into a deep hole right before death. He was sold as a slave to the merchants who was passing by. Genesis 37 and 28 says, So when the Midianites merchants came by, his brothers pulled Joseph up out of the cistern and sold him for 20 shekels of silver and to the Israelites. The who took him to Egypt. He was only 17. Right before death, he was sold as a slave. The second the ordeal was that he had lived a precious life with the love of his father, became humble and lowly slave. Genesis 39 and 1 says, Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt, Potiphar, an Egyptian who was one of the Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard, brought him from the Israelites who had taken him there. Joseph was sold into sla slavery, treated like a subhuman, and did a very painful job. At that time, this is, this is a life of a slavery. They didn't have a characteristic, and they treated, people treated a slave like an animal. They had to work all day long. If they get sick, they get abandoned in the wilderness and become a prey of wild animals. That's their life. They were mistreated by many people, ignored by many people. He had to do the hard, hard work. If they try to take a rest, and their masters whip them. Even, but even the life of the slavery did not destroy his dream. Even he lived as a slave, he still had a dream. He did his best wherever he was. More than anyone, he worked hard. He opened his eyes very strongly. At Potiphar's house, he was acknowledged by him. He took care of the, all things in the house. Genesis 39 and 2 said, The Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered. He lived in the house of his Egyptian master. Out of so many slaves, he was a manager. He took care of all things in the house. The third ordeal is that he is falsely framed and sent to prison. His Joseph was working as a slave in Potiphar, the captain of the guard. Potiphar's wife framed him. Genesis 39, 17 says, Then she told him, he, Hebrew slave, you brought us, came to me to make a sport of me. But as soon as I screamed for him, he left his cloak beside me and ran out of the house. Joseph's master took him and put him in the prison and the place where the king's prisoners were confined. And while Joseph was there in the prison, he was falsely framed, falsely accused. However, he was, but his dream did not disappear even in prison. It wasn't just an ordinary prison. It was a prison. The king's prisoners were confined. There was a special prison. If, as long as the, the, the king 
has to order to release he will not he has to he has to stay in the prison forever even he was in the prison of despair did not stop the dream of Joseph did not stop Joseph did not destroy his dream however he has a stronger dream even in the prison God was with him the dreaming Joseph enjoyed the prosperity even in prison so many people in the prison was fell into despair he will lift me up someday he will use me as his own instrument Genesis 39 says the Lord was with him he showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden the warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did He was captivated by his dream. He became a good example for everyone. The warden, the prison keeper, just gave him the, all the keys of the prison. Hey, take care of the whole prison. He trusted him completely. Could, could not happen. He was a prisoner, but he was acknowledged by prison keeper, and he took care of the, all the keys. That is a miracle. Dreamers, will experience a great miracle no matter how big is the tribulations do not no matter how big is the problem cannot confine any dreamers he was a dreaming person wherever he went he lived a prosperous life god blessed his life the fourth ordeal was that even though he interpreted the dream of the chief in prison and informed them that he was not guilty the first one was executed and the the the, the second one will go back to the palace again Genesis chapter 40 14 says but when you go goes well with you remember me and show me kindness and mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison I was forced to forcibly forcibly carry the offer from the land of the Hebrew and even I have done nothing deserve of being in the prison in a dungeon and you will be released from the prison you will see the king every day right please tell him I am framed. I have not, I'm not guilty. Please just tell him to let me out of this prison. But Chief Cuberia could not remember Joseph's story for two years. No news was given to Joseph, who was expected to be released from the prison immediately. He, maybe he watched his face and waiting for his message to be released from the prison, but he didn't hear anything from him. One day, two days, one week later, a month later, didn't hear anything from him. He said, when I get out, I'm going to tell King and I'll let you be out of this prison. But after a month later and two months later, even three months later, he didn't hear anything from him. Maybe to Joseph, those who two years that must have felt longer than 10 years, more than 11 years, it was a long time for him. However, for the last two years before being released from prison, Joseph struggled in the prison of a deep despair, looking only to God. Even the night is long, the dawn will come. Even the winter is so long, spring will come anyways. For dreamers, their life is not end with the despair. That is just a part of the process. That is like a freeway. That is like a highway to the blessing he dreamed about it he dreamed about the future bright future even he was in the midst of the trouble god has only on, on the, god had a plan for him after two years later king pharaoh had a dream and no one interpreted his dream the finally cut barrier remembered joseph and called joseph and went to see the king and interpreted his dream and king pharaoh was a deeply touched and he lifted him up and finally after 13 years his dream became true he became a prime minister of Egypt overnight the Bible is talking like this 41 says the Pharaoh said to Joseph since God has made all this known to you there is no one is so discerning and, and wise as you you shall be in the charge of my palace and my, all my people will submit to your orders only my respect to the throne will 
will I be greater than you? So Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Finally, Joseph's dream came true. God talked about the dream for when he was 17. After 13 years later, in the time of God, his, true, his, his, his dream became true. Even we go through difficulties and trials, in the time of God, dream will become true. Many, many dreamers have trouble. Many people persecute them. But even jealousy cannot stop us. We, they cannot stop our dreams because that is the holy dream of the Lord. It will become true someday in the time of God. But the wonderful thing is, but after Joseph fulfilled his dream, he did not take revenge on anyone who had troubled him. He didn't punish anyone. Joseph did not take revenge on Pharaoh and his wife, who framed him, did not blame him. But the Bible didn't say Joseph hit them a hundred times, did not mention like that. The chief who had returned to work after receiving a dream interpretation, who had completely forgotten about him for two years, and, he, and his brothers who sold him into slavery, while trying to kill him. He did not revenge on anyone, but told them like this, 45 and 8, 5 and 8 says, And now, you, uh, do not be distressed, by, uh, distressed and do not be angry with yourselves and selling me here, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. So then, it was not you who sent me here, but God. He made me father of a pharaoh, lord of his entire household, and the ruler of all Egypt. God did this. God did this. God did the wonderful things. Later on, he invited whole family of his brothers. When his father passed away, Joseph's brother came to him and begged for forgiveness, fearing that he might punish them and revenge on them. And then Joseph said, 1519 said, but Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid. I Am I in the place of God? You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. So then, don't be afraid. I will provide you and your children. And he assured them and spoke kindly to them. In his high position of wealth and power, Joseph forgave without punishing those who harmed him and showed the love and tolerance and forgave them. The true leader is one who forgives, show love and tolerance, not punishing them and hurt them. One of the most important education Jewish people emphasize when they are young is never gossip or criticize others. Don't talk behind any, anyone, anyone. They teach their children like that over and over again. So therefore, Jews never gossip or speak negatively even about others. We must learn about this. I, I know the ambassador of Israel. I see him so often. I went to even his house and had a meal together. But he never talked bad about his own people. Ambassador of the U.S., he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a Jewish, but he is agreed with the homosexuality. But I had a lunch with him. When I, I had, when I had a lunch with him, but he did not talk about him, not even a word. I, I felt sorry. He doesn't criticize anyone. We, we must talk about this. We must think about it. Let our Christians must be changed, not to talk about anyone and, and anyone and behind them. Let's talk about good things. Let's admire each other. Let's let's say good things about each other. Let's embrace them. Let let's embrace each other. Let's cover for each other. Let's forgive one another. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Therefore. As a result, there were many world-bearing leaders among the Jews. Many leaders was produced. A person who steps on others may rise to a high position for a short time, but never achieve a true success and cannot be recognized as a true leader. They will fall down. 
just like a boomerang, they will, they will fall down someday. It will come back to you. Let's best though, let's share with one another. Be a dreamer like Joseph. Have a holy dream. Forgive one another and share love with one another. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Let's be, I'd like to introduce a touching story of a Dr. Yu Taeyong. He was born in Imshi. He was born in a poor family. He was so poor. He had many brothers. His, his father worked at, as a farmer of the, the rich man's house. That's how they earned money. He had no hope. In this poverty, there was a church in that town. He had a dream. I want to change this countryside of Korea. I want to change this rural area. He had a holy dream. And she attended church every Sunday. Pastor of the church is Joseph Cho. He went to the church with his mother. And pastor said, have a holy dream. If you pray, God will answer your prayer. So after he heard from the pastor, he went to early morning every, every day and he prayed. Even though I could not get up early in the morning, I woke up and ran to the church to pray. Visiting a minister, a meeting a visitor, uh, a, 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 a visiting a minister in person is so difficult like a getting blood out of the stone. How much less I can neglect to meet the Almighty God. I, I couldn't skip a single day from going, to, going out to pray at dawn and saying my wishes to God. So that's how he prayed like this. Please remember, we are having early morning prayer service starting from tomorrow for the whole week. Lord, I have a dream. Please give me opportunity to study. Let my, let's make my town prosperous. He was, when, when he was 18, he went to middle school. Sponsored by a wealthy owner who recognized his brilliance. This man saw him. He was studying all day long. He said, I want to go to school. So he went to the school. After graduating middle school, he came to Seoul to make his dream came, come true. He went to night class, and slept on the bridge, picked up cold rice and dumped in the trash can, polished, polished the shoes, and he attended high school for five years, and that's how he graduated. He, he was badly off. One day, as he was returning from delivering newspaper, he saw a lump of rice dumped in the trash can. He was so hungry, and he looked around and picked it up, and he removed the, the brick and ashes and the sand and from the rice, and he ate them all. And he, he shed the tears. But he thanked God for allowing him to eat at least the rice from the trash can. He never tried... He, he gave thanks to God in that kind of situation. Even Joseph was sold as a slave. He gave thanks to God and lived a prosperous life. Dr. Yu Taeyong lived the same life. He delivered the newspaper early in the morning, but he did not. He he did not dis fall into despair. He gave thanks to God. He lived in lived in the cold room without any heater, and early in the morning, he brought Bible and went to the church and prayed. And, and he was filled with the, uh, the Holy Spirit of God. His body felt hot. Ch he challenged it again and again. The only prayer he offered at dawn was, Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. That's all he said. And finally, he, he, he had a dream to study in Denmark, an advanced agricultural country, to realize his dream of developing Korean agriculture. He studied. He, he, he has a dream. So he got an idea. He wrote a letter to the king of Denmark in Copenhagen, and he prayed, let this letter touch the king of Denmark. The finally, he read this letter and sent a scholarship and invited him to Denmark. That's how he started in Denmark. He went to Denmark by prayer, and he started Semal movement in Korea and worked with the President Park at that time. It was a long time ago. 
It was like 30 or 40 years ago. So that's how he brought our countryside to prosperous. He went to Israel to study again. So he went to Israel. He got master's degree and PhD in four years, and he became a professor of Ben-Gurion University. After returning to Korea, he served as a vice president of Gungook University, worked, and worked for the development of rural areas and youth after retirement. He made a confession like this. I was stupid. I didn't know what God's will was. So I was often confused and conflicted. So I read the Bible and studied Bible more and did not stop praying. It is because you can get the answer by asking God in everything. The most important thing in prayer is to read the Bible and pray according to the Word. Only then can we see God's will, not ours, in our busy and urgent modern society. Grab the holy dream of God and march it forward. Do your best. When you dream, maybe try to pull you down, try to criticize you, just like the brothers of Joseph, and surround Joseph, but don't listen to them. Don't give your ear to them. Grab the dream and march it forward again and again, again and again. Then God will make this dream come true in the time of God. Have a holy dream in the Lord. Until now, if you did not have a dream, from now on, have a holy dream. Try to find the mission of the Lord. In order to fulfill this mission, use me as your instrument. Have a holy dream. Have a holy dream for your children, holy dream for your business, holy dream for your family, holy dream for your working places. You chose me and you called me. Let me use me as your instrument. You, Lord, give me a dream. And, and let this dream come true, just like a Joseph. March it forward again and again. Have a holy dream. Then God will be with you, will do the great things in your life. In the time of God, it will become true. There's a dream that I dream of my Savior divine. And I know that my dream will come true. At the morn, in the night, comes the vision of light. With the promise eternally new. Oh, this wonderful dream is a secret of grace. And I would, this secret you knew. For I dream that at last I shall look on his face. And I know that my dream will come true. There's a sweet compensation for heartache and loss in the hope that is given to me. I shall quickly forget how the, the road was beset. When the king in his beauty I see, Oh, this wonderful dream is a secret of grace. And I would this secret you knew. For, for I dream that at last I shall look on his face. And I know that my dream will come true. Brothers and sisters, what is your dream? There's dream planned for you. God gave you mission. Do you, do you understand about the mission? 
Are you captivated, captivated by that dream? Is this dream is leading your life? People without dream, they're living a meaningless life. It will end like that. Have a holy dream from now on. Let us walk with the Lord. Hold the hands of the Lord. Let's live for the glory of God from now on. Let's all become true workers of God. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Bless you in the name of the Lord. Bless you in the name of the Lord. Of the Lord. Let us all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, with full of love and grace, let us all become dreamers. We did not become dreamers. We talk about the past. Lord, come and forgive us from now on. Let us have a holy dream. Let, let us grab this dream and march it forward again and again. Pour your grace upon us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Please continue to keep your head bowed down a little while longer. What is our life? Our life is just like a fog. We'll be disappeared someday. There's no bigger blessing than believing in Jesus Christ. If you believe in Jesus, your destiny will be changed. We can become a dreamer. If today is your first time visiting our church, if you did not have any conviction of the salvation, please stand up right now. In 650 houses, prayer houses in Korea, having this service through the satellite broadcasting, in front of the TV, in front of the mobile devices, doesn't matter wherever you are. If you can hear my voice, please stand up right now. God is knocking your door right now. Open the door and show him in. Lord, accept me. Your destiny will be changed. Make a decision today. Do not hesitate. Please, please, please pray after me. This prayer will lead you to the salvation. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm a sinner. I, I don't know why I live. I do not know where I'm going. Due to my sin, you died on the cross for my sins. I accepted Jesus who resurrected as my personal Savior. I have become a child of God. I will live for you from now and forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We welcome in the name of the Lord. This is time of dream. Let's have a holy dream and pray before God. This dream will become true. Now our Republic of Korea, let us reconcile one another. Our country is divided as two different countries. Let's pray for the reunification. Let's pray for the stopping of the war, war in Ukraine. Let's change it for the changing of the weather, climbing. Let's pray for the victims of Itaewon disaster. Let's pray for the parents. Let's all stand up and pray. Lord, give us a dream today. Let us all pray. Lord, Lord, Lord. Hallelujah, Oh, this wonderful dream is a secret of grace. And I would, this is a secret you knew. For I dream that at last I shall look on his face.
and I know that my dream will come true. Please put your hands on the sick part of your body. If, if you have any problems, lay your hands on the chest. Do you have any father? We have laid our, our hands on us. Come and lay your hands on us. Let us have a holy dream today, Lord. We are dreaming for good health. We are dreaming for the problem resolvement. Your problems go away. Your dream will come true. Your diseases go away. Stay away from the children of God. Your insomnia, mental disease, brain disease, go away. Your lip disease, no disease, and eye disease, go away. You shoulder pain and joint problem, go away. Your heart disease, stomach disease, go away. Your high blood pressure, diabetes, go away. All cancers and tumors, go away. Your skin disease, incurable disease, sterility, go away. Answer our prayer for our children today. Bless our children today. Bless our family today. Bless our working places and business today. Believe that you already have received it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Please say to each other, your dream will come true. Surely dream will come true. Especially, waste pain is gone today. A severe depression due to severe depression cannot sleep well at night, but you are healed today. Some joint problem is also healed. One of our employees suffering from cancer spread all over the body, but doctor said it's almost gone. Doctor said almost gone went to the hospital for the big surgery, but the doctor said strange thing is happening. He took just a small surgery and just came back to our church. Miracle could happen. God is healing you today. Overcome cancers. We can overcome any diseases. Fight against the cancer. Let's live a blessed life. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Please repeat after me. In the Lord, every day, have a holy dream. Hallelujah. This is time for the offering. Dear Heavenly Father, with full of love and grace, we truly, th truly thank you for your wonderful love. Thank you for bringing each one of us to the place of the worship service today. We give thanks to you. Father God, you have called our Pastor Young Lee today as your precious messenger. Thank you for the giving us a living message today, Father. Father God, this is time for the offering. Dear Heavenly Father, control our hands and our mind as we make our offerings today. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, amen. Dear all foreigners, I have an announcement for all foreign guests who have attended our service today. Number one, on Sunday, English interpretation is provided for the following worship services, 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. service. Number two, on Wednesday, English interpretation is provided for our service at 10.30 a.m. Number three, on Friday, English interpretation is provided for our all-night prayer meeting after, from 9.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. Please come and join our services. And I'll be right back after this special song.
have a special guest in uh, President Lee Thompson and his the friends also came together. Please all stand up. We welcome to our service today. You may be seated. Thank you. Let us all pray. Dear Heavenly Father, with full of love and grace, we've made our precious offering today, our thanksgiving offering, our heart hospital offering, and many different kinds of offering. Receive this gladly, Lord, and bless our hands even a thousand times more than before so we may practice love of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Now may the abundant grace of Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of our Father, the rich blessings and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all the congregation and their family who have a holy dream and march forward, members today and in their daily life in forever. Amen. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He is so good to me. Uh, please be seated. We have a special announcement. Next Sunday is a Thanksgiving Sunday. We are having Thanksgiving service in three years. We will bring some rice cakes next Sunday. Give to each one of you. We will have an early morning prayer service starting from tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. I'll see you tomorrow morning. I don't hear any amen today. Please make a special offering for Thanksgiving next Sunday. We didn't make offering for whole three years. Now I decide. I, I also decided to make a special offering next Sunday. On 17th, we will have a special prayer meeting for senior high school students who will take a Korean SAT examination. We will start Thanksgiving sharing application. Please apply through our app. Please use the second and the third, the basement, parking, parking spaces, starting from next Sunday. 
It had been a, minister, a pleasure to minister to you today in this service. This is Isaac, your interpreter for this service, and thank you for coming today. God bless you. 이상 교회 소식을 마치겠습니다. 성도님들은 남녀 선교의 안내에 따라 질서 있게 귀가해 주시기 바랍니다.
성도 여러분, 주님 안에서 평안하셨습니까? 11월 둘째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 2022 가정과 자녀 축복 또 추수감사 특별 새벽 기도회가 7일부터 두 주간의 일정으로 시작됐습니다. 첫 소식 윤건희 리포터가 전해드립니다. 감사의 계절이 무르익고 있는 시기인데요. 감사의 축복을 주제로 열린 이번 특별 새벽 기도회에는 말씀과 기도를 사모하는 성도들이 꾸준히 나와 한해 동안 인도하신 하나님의 은혜를 돌아보고 점검했습니다. 또 하나님의 사람으로 살아가려는 겸손과 순종을 결단하며 풍성한 복음의 결실을 맺는 추수감사절을 기원했습니다. 지난 한주 강단에는 이영훈 목사를 비롯해 윤광현, 김호성, 고영용 부목사가 은혜의 말씀을 전했습니다. 12일 강단에선 이영훈 목사는 넘치는 은혜의 말씀을 전했습니다. 우리가 영적인 군사가 되어야 됩니다. 일당 백의 용사가 되어야 되는 것입니다. 영적 전쟁의 승리자가 되어야 되는 것입니다. 그래서 주 앞에 나와서 예배 드리는 일이 너무나 기쁘고 감사하고 와, 말씀 보고 기도하는 것이 너무나 좋고 나와서 모을 때마다 기도하고 흩어져 전도하고 보험을 전하고 죄상을 실천하고 이것이 우리의 삶에 가장 기쁨이 되어야 됩니다. 예배 드리는 것이 너무나 좋고 말씀 보는 것이 너무나 좋고 찬양하고 기도하는 것이 너무나 좋은 것이 우리의 삶의 모습이 되어야 되는 것입니다. 참석자들은 17일 대학 수학능력시험에 응시하는 수험생을 위해 또 취업을 준비하는 취업생들을 위해 그리고 안전한 대한민국을 위해 간절히 기도했습니다. 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 믿음으로 무장한 성도들의 삶 가운데 감사의 축복과 은혜가 가득하기를 기대해봅니다. FCTV 뉴스 윤건입니다 이영은 목사는 7일부터 9일까지 싱가포르에서 개최된 아시아 리더 서밋 2022에 참석해 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 위대한 부흥과 연대를 위한 방안을 논의했습니다. 계속해서 윤건희 리포터입니다. 아시아 교회여 성령과 함께 일어나라를 주제로 열린 ALS 2022는 싱가포르의 선교적 가치와 중요성을 재확인한 시간이었습니다. 싱가포르는 영어와 중국어, 말레이어, 타밀어를 공식 언어로 사용할 정도로 세계적으로 문화와 언어의 장벽이 거의 없는 도시국가입니다. 이영훈 목사는 사흘간의 일정 상당 기간을 교회의 미래 인재를 세워가고 있는 신학교들을 방문하며 학생들을 격려하고 축복했습니다. 첫 일정으로 이영훈 목사는 트리니티 크리스천 센터가 설립한 TCA 대학을 방문했습니다. 이곳에서 데니스 럼 총장과 도미닉 여 부총장의 안내를 받아 학교를 둘러봤고 또 강의실을 방문해 학생들을 격려했습니다. 계속해서 싱가포르 교회 리더들과 오찬을 겸한 교제를 가졌습니다. 이 시간 CGI 이사인 콩이 목사는 이영훈 목사에게 존경과 사랑의 마음을 담아 CGI 총재 취임 축하 패를 전했습니다. I just want to congratulate Dr. Yang Hun Lee. for being the CGI chairman. We are so happy that the successor to Dr. y o n g g i Cho is Dr. Yang Hun Lee, a mighty man of God. Dr. Lee, we love you. All of Asia and the whole world, we respect you, and we are excited for your leadership to lead all of us megachurch pastors into the future. God bless you, Dr. Lee. 오후에는 액츠 신학교를 방문해 개교 45주년 감사 예배를 인도했습니다. 학생들과 교수, 또 말레이시아와 싱가포르의 목회자들이 함께한 예배에서 이영훈 목사는 사역에 있어 가장 중요한 것은 기도라며 기도의 삶을 역설했습니다. 설교 후에는 이 학교의 KCNG 총장에게 45주년 축하패를 전했습니다. 8일 오전에는 엔데믹과 아시아 교회의 주요 변화를 주제로 ALS 모임이 개최됐습니다. 모두 발언을 전한 이영우 목사는 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 큰 부흥을 위해 ALS의 역할을 강조했고 또 ALS 멤버십 확대와 이사회 구성을 위한 논의를 가졌습니다. We are all here. We are having a wonderful time learning together. We are grateful to be alive, to be healthy. and to continue to have this opportunity to serve Him. I want to encourage all of you, as long as God gives you life and health, please serve Him. God bless you. 
같은 날 오후에는 복음주의 초교파 신학교인 싱가포르 바이블 대학을 방문했습니다. 이 자리에선 글로벌 엘림 재단에 대한 소개와 향후 협력을 위한 의견 교환이 있었습니다. 일정 마지막 날 마련된 컨퍼런스는 ALS 2022 초청 교회인 트리니티 크리스천 센터에서 있었습니다. 이 시간 말레이시아 글래드 타이딩 교회 빈센트 레오 목사와 국제 CCC 부총재 박성민 목사, 유홍형 목사, 코너스톤 커뮤니티 교회의 양턱윤 목사가 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 재도약을 위한 발제를 가졌고 러스 마틴이 로잔 정신을 주제로 발표했습니다. 계속해서 ALS의 정신인 아시아인에 의한 아시아 보그마를 말하며 오직 성령과 함께 사명을 다해 가자고 강조했습니다. As we know, the most important part is the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, we cannot pursue the all our goals. 또 이영훈 목사는 코리아 스타일의 통성 기도를 설명했고 참석자들은 각자의 모국어로 주여 삼창을 외치며 아시아 교회의 사명을 위해 한 마음으로 기도했습니다. 콘퍼런스를 마치며 ALS 총재인 이영훈 목사는 이번 2022 ALS 콘퍼런스를 주관한 싱가포르 트리니티 크리스천 센터에 감사패를 수여했습니다. What a joy and privilege it is to have uh, Dr. Yong Hoon Lee and the Asian Leaders Summit happening right here in Singapore. God is doing something mightily among the Asian churches, and I thank God for what He's doing in Yoido Full Gospel Church as well. Once again, thank you and greetings right here from Singapore. 반가운 만남도 있었습니다. 우리 교회 출석하다 싱가포르에서 사역하고 있는 선교사 부부가 콘퍼런스에 참석했고 이영훈 목사는 이들을 안수하고 축복했습니다. 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 연대와 동반 부흥을 견인해갈 아시아 리더스 서밋의 역할이 주목받고 있습니다. FTV 뉴스 윤관입니다. 이영은 목사는 지난 30일부터 한주 동안 순복음 실업인 성교연합회와 교회성장연구소가 공동으로 주최한 튀르키의 성지순례에 함께했습니다. 김선태 리포터가 보도합니다. 튀르키에는 우리나라 면적의 8배 정도 되는 면적을 가진 나라로 이슬람교가 99%를 차지하고 있습니다. 아이러니하지만 이 땅은 예수님의 제자들이 활발하게 복음을 전하던 곳으로 사도 바울의 발자취가 남아 있고 또 초대 교인들이 신앙을 지키기 위해 무던히 애쓰던 곳입니다. 성지 순례에는 우리 교회 성도들과 강남 분당, 송파 광명, 영상교회 목회자와 성도들이 함께했습니다. 첫 일정은 트르키의 수도 이스탄불에 있는 로마 시대 대 경기장 유적인 히포드롬에서 시작했고. 계속해서 유네스코 문화유산에 등재된 성소피아 대성당을 방문했습니다. 이 성당은 그리스 종교회로 시작해 카톨릭 성당으로 또 오스만 제국 시기에는 모스크로 사용되었으며 현재는 박물관으로 쓰이고 있습니다. 또 300개의 석굴교회가 남아있는 괴렘의 골짜기에 가파도기아를 방문해 열기구를 체험했고 석굴교회 안에 들어가 신앙 선진들의 믿음을 본받기 위한 다짐을 새롭게 했습니다. 이 자리에서 이영훈 목사는 하나님의 은혜를 기억하고 영적 회복을 이루자고 당부했습니다. 우리가 풍요로움 속에서 이 하나님의 은혜를 잊어버리고 사는데 지금 사실은 코로나 19로 말면 아마 3년이라는 고난의 기간이 지나고 다시 회복의 때가 다가왔는데 이제 모든 교회가 영적으로 큰 붕이 있기를 간절히 소원합니다. 아멘. 참석자들은. 좋으신 하나님을 부르며 고난 앞에 신앙을 지킨 선진들의 믿음을 기억하며 온전한 그리스도인의 삶을 다짐했습니다. 같은 날 터키에서 사역하는 선교사들을 식사 자리로 초청해 격려하고 선교 지원금을 전했습니다. 다음 날 오전에는 호텔에서 수요 성찬 예배를 드렸습니다. 이 시간 이영훈 목사는 언제든 주님 앞에 서라는 면전 의식, 코람데오의 삶을 당부했습니다. 코람데오, 하나님 앞에서의 의식이다. 하나님 앞에서, 내 구세주 예수님 앞에서 내 생각과 내 말과 내 행동이 모든 것이 주님을 바라보면서 주님과 얘기하듯이 얘기하고 주님 앞에서 일하듯이 일을 하고 주님 보실 때 잘하였도다. 착하고 충성된 종아. 이 칭찬을 
받을 수 있게 되기를 바랍니다. 설교에 이어 참석자들은 예수님의 몸과 피를 기념하는 성찬식을 가졌고 계속해서 이태원 참사 피해자들의 회복을 위해 또 칭찬받는 주님의 사람들이 되도록 기도했습니다. 이날 예배 때 드린 헌금은 전액 이태원 사고 피해자 가족들을 위해 드리기로 했습니다. 예배 후엔 소아시아의 일곱 교회 중 안디오 교회와 라오디게아 교회, 빌라델비아 교회, 성요한교회 등을 방문해 믿음의 선진들의 신앙과 마주했습니다. 어떠한 역경에도 굴하지 않는 바울의 전도 열정, 또 초기 교회 신앙 선진들과 마주했던 트리키의 성지순례, 신앙 생활의 각오와 다짐을 점검하게 한 시간이었습니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 재능기부 나눔센터는 4일과 5일 양일간 캄보디아에서 코리안 드림을 이루고자 전남 화순에 정착한 이유정 씨의 보금자리를 깨끗이 수리해주고 돌아왔습니다. 이찬미 리포터입니다. 패션 디자이너가 되고자 캄보디아에서 한국으로 온 결혼 이주 여성 이유정 씨. 소장농인 남편의 수입만으로는 생활비 마련도 어려웠고 가옥도 오래돼 너무 춥지만 가정 형편상 보일러도 많이 켜지 못합니다. 새벽녘 여의도를 출발한 재능기부 나눔센터는 현장 도착과 함께 사전에 세운 계획에 따라 낡은 창틀을 분리했고 곰팡이 가득한 벽지와 색바랜 장판도 걷어냈습니다. 골조만 놔뒀을 뿐 전체를 드러내고 시작하는 공사는 일사불란하게 진행됐습니다. 도배와 장판을 새로 했고 새 침대와 가구, 냉장고도 선물했습니다. 봉사자들의 손길이 닿은 집은 그야말로 황골탈태했습니다. 우리 교회 재능기부 나눔센터의 사랑의 섬김이 캄보디아에서 온 유정 씨 가족의 꿈을 잃어가는 응원가가 되길 기대해봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 이찬미입니다. 이번 주 선교지 소식은 1984년 브라질 깐포그란데로 파송받아 바나날 인디언촌에서 사역하고 있는 김용환 선교사가 보내왔습니다. 김용환 선교사는 39년간 한결같은 열정으로 인디언들에게 생명의 복음을 전하고 있는데요. 복음을 접한 많은 사람들이 성령을 체험하고 방언 기도를 하고 있습니다. 천막 교회로부터 시작해 지금껏 17개 교회를 세웠으며 많은 인디언 사역자들이 배출돼 각 교회를 섬기고 있습니다. 또 유치원 교육과 제자 훈련, 양육 사역을 통해 복음 전파에 힘쓰고 있습니다. 10년 전부터는 성령의 강력한 인도하심을 받아 깐포그란데 북쪽 인디언 부족 복음화에 나서고 있습니다. 코로나로 인해 잠시 중단했다가 올해 8월 재개됐는데 그곳에 가기 위해서는 비행기를 타고 6시간, 차로 380km를 달려야 합니다. 그리고 다시 배를 타고 엠비라강을 닷새 동안 거슬러 올라가야 합니다. 배를 타고 이동하던 첫날 배가 뒤집혀 모두 물에 빠지기도 하고 한 명이 다리를 다치는 등 어려움도 있었지만 하나님의 은혜와 인도하심으로 목적지에 다다를 수 있었습니다. 닷새 만에 아세니카 부족 마을에 닿았고 그곳엔 45세대가 자신들의 문화와 부족 언어를 가지고 생활하고 있었습니다. 그곳의 추장은 자신의 마을에 복음을 전하고 성전을 세워달라고 요청했고 김 성교사와 일행은 성전 건축을 약속하고 성경과 찬송가를 선물했습니다. 마데아 부족도 방문했는데 추장과 아들이 복음을 영접하고 성전을 세워달라는 요청을 했습니다. 복음 전파를 위해 39년을 달려왔지만 지금도 많은 사람들이 복음을 알지 못함을 보며 아직 쉴 때가 아님을 깨닫게 됩니다. 주님 오시는 그날까지 아마존 인디언 복음화를 위해 최선을 다할 수 있도록 기도 요청드립니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 순복음 선교회 이사장 이영우 목사는 6일 전영우 목사를 필리핀 선교사로 파송하고 축복했습니다. 이영우 목사는 6일 원로 장로의 임원진과 만나 교회 부흥을 위해 한 마음 한 뜻으로 하나 되자고 당부했습니다. 루마니아 선교팀이 6일 우리 교회에 방문했습니다. 
이들은 우리 교회 홍보 영상을 시청했고 평양에 건립하고 있는 심장병원 등에 대해 질문하며 북한 선교에 큰 관심을 보였습니다. 계속해서 대성전에 있는 조용기 목사 기념모를 견학했고 주일 저녁 예배에 참석했습니다. 수능을 한주 앞둔 10일 관악대교구는 대교구 산하전 기도처에서 자녀를 위한 1시간 집중 기도회를 갖고 입시와 취업 또 자녀들의 모든 삶을 하나님께 의탁하며 간절히 기도했습니다. 같은 날 양천대교구와 반석대교구도 기도원에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 감사가 넘치는 교구사역이 되도록 강구했습니다. 이에 앞선 8일에는 은평대교구와 마포 일대교구에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 성령의 충만함을 위해 간구했습니다. 또 3일에는 마포 이대교구에서 성령 대망회와 전도 발대식을 갖고 풍성한 복음 열매를 위해 전심을 다하자고 다짐했습니다. 같은 날 종로중구대교구도 성령 대망회를 갖고 더욱 견고한 믿음을 위해 기도했습니다. 4일에는 청장연국 장년대교구에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 늘 주님보다 앞서지 않고 늘 겸손한 마음으로 주님을 따라가는 삶을 다짐했습니다. 또 30일에는 새 성북성전에서 멕시코에서 사역하는 이유한 선교사를 초청해 성령 대망회를 갖고 사명을 새롭게 했습니다. 국제구호개발 엔조 구피풀은 6일 경북 구미강동교회에서 희귀 난치성 질환 아동을 돕기 위한 구피풀 러브 콘서트를 가졌습니다. 이날 콘서트엔 마음 전파상이 참여해 바테르 중후군을 갖고 태어난 지우의 사례를 소개하며 나눔에 참여하도록 독려했습니다. 이번 주 오산이 기도원에서는 새일이 일어나는 영적 대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식은 여기까지입니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다. Hallelujah! 자비로운 주님 오 나의 자비로운 주여 나의 몸과 영혼을 주님 은혜로 다 채워 주소서 
주께 찬양하라 모여라 주께 찬양하라 나의 귀한 친구여 주 이름 앞에 우리 주님께 감사의 목소리 드리겠습니다 할렐루야 감사로 제사 드리는 자 감사로 제사 드리는 자가 하나님을 영화롭게 하나니 그의 길을 볼게 하는 자 사리세 아버지께 감사로 제사를다며 찬송 드리세 아버지께 우리의 찬송을 할렐루야 할렐루야 
영원토록 찬송 영원토록 감사를 영원토록 감사 영원토록 감사 찬송을 영원토록 감사 찬송을 그대는 아는가 그대를 아는가 그대 몸은 주님이 살아계신 성전인 걸 그대는 아는가 그대 몸은 주님이 살아계신 성전이요 찬양과 능력과 영광 주께 찬양과 능력과 영광 주께 찬양과 능력과 영광 주께 그대는 주님께 신성전이요 내 몸은 내 몸은 성전이요 내 몸은 내 몸은 성전이요 내 몸은 내 몸은 성전이요 주님이 살아계신 성 찬양과 찬양과 능력과 영광 주께 아멘 찬양과 능력과 영광 주께 찬양과 능력과 영광 주께 그대는 주님 계신 성 당신은 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 당신이 성전이요 당신은 당신은 성전이요 당신은 당신은 성전이요 주님이 살아계신 성전이요 찬양과 능력과 영광 주께 찬양과 능력과 영광 주께 찬양과 능력과 영광 주께 그대는 주님 계신 성전이요 우리 모두는 주님 계신 성전인 줄 믿습니다 우리 십자가를 의지하며 더욱 뜨겁게 찬양하겠습니다 주달리신 십자가를 내가 볼때 주님의 자비 내 마음을 겸손케 주께 감사하며 내 생명 주께 드리네 예수님 그 여기서 예수 주신 그대를 마음에 새겨 봅니다 마음에 새겨 봅니다 이제는 저 높은 곳에 앉으신 이제는 저 높은 곳에 앉으신 하늘과 땅을 왕대신 주 나이 이제 놀라운 구원의 은혜 높여 찬양하리라 높여 찬양하리라 높여 찬양하리라 주 달리신 십자가를 내가 볼때 주님의 자비 내 주께 감사하며 내 생명 주께 드리네 감사드리 감사드리 주의 신자가 나의 친구 대신 주 주님 감사 감사드리리 주의 십자가 나의 친구 대신 주 달리신 십자가를 주 달리신 십자가를 내가 볼때 주님의 자비 내 마음을 겸손케 주께 감사하며 생명 주께 드리네 십자가를 의지합니다 우리 존귀하신 주님을 찬양합니다 존귀 오 존귀하신 주 
감사 찬양과 경배 다 받으실 주님 존귀 존귀하신 주 존귀 오 존귀하신 주 감사 찬양과 경배 다 받으실 주님 찬양 할렐루야 보좌 위 어린 앞에 우리 경배하며 영광 돌리네 오 할렐루야 우리 왕께 영광 주스님의 용사 또 많이네 주 할렐루야 보좌 위 어린 앞에 할렐루야 보좌 위 어린 앞에 우리 경배하며 영광 돌리네 오 할렐루야 우리 왕께 영광 주승리의 용사 또 만유의 주님 보세 생명 생소 사나 눈물 보자 지나갈 때 멋잖아 열매맺히고 멋잖아 열매맺히고 웃음소리 넘쳐나 그날에 하늘이 열리고 그날에 하늘이 열리고 모든 이가 보게 돼 마침내 꽃들이 피고 마침내 꽃들이 피고 영광의 주가 오시라 꽃들도 구름도 바람도 넓은 바다도 찬양하라 찬양하라 예수를 하늘을 울리며 노래해 나의 영혼아 은혜의 주 은혜의 주 은혜의 주 날마다 숨쉬는 순간마다 내 앞에 주님 앞에 이 목을 맡길 때 슬프고 내 두려운 건데 주님의 그 자비로운 손길 항상 조금 거 주시도다 날마다 주님 내 곁에 계셔 날마다 주님 내 곁에 계셔 자비로 날 감싸주시네 주님 앞에 이 몸을 오늘도 세임을 주시네 힘주시네 위로 한주에 어린 날을 품에 안을 시사 항상 평안한 주시도다 내가 살아 숨을 쉬는 동안 우리 주님을 의지하며 자리에서 일어나서 함께 찬양하겠습니다 인생의 어려운 순간 인생의 어려운 순간마다 주의 약속 생각해도 아멘 내 맘속에 믿음 잃지 않고 말씀 속 우리 두손 들고 찬양합니다 주님의 도시 주님의 
주님의 약속 바라보며 주님 주시는 꿈과 비전으로 살아가겠습니다 우리 주여 세움 부르고 통성으로 기도합니다 주여 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 주님의 약속을 바라봅니다 주님 우리에게 허락하시는 비전으로 살아가겠습니다 주님만 놓으리지 않고 날마다 심심히 살아가 주님 내 곁에 계셔서 차비로 어려운 일 가운데 감사주시니 감사합니다 주님 앞에 내가 맡깁니다 우리의 삶을 기도합니다 주여 잡아주시옵소서 오늘 예배 가운데 내를 허락하여 주시옵소서 사랑의 귀한 날라리 아버지의 성령의 귀한 말씀을 아버지의 선포하실 때 우리 사와 가운데 생을 얻고 새 소망을 얻고 생명을 얻는 귀한 시간이 될수 있도록 주여 도와주시옵소서 내가 먼저 주님 기뻐하시는 예배자가 되어서 주님 앞에 더 가까이 나가게 하여 주시옵소서 오늘 성령으로 주님한테 내려서 하나님께 영광을 내리는 우리 모두가 될수 있도록 주여 붙잡아 주시옵소서 할렐루야 할렐루야 찬양하라 내 영혼아 찬양하라 내 영혼아 찬양하라 내 영혼아 내 속에 Good afternoon to all of our foreign guests worshiping with us. This is Sharon, your interpreter. We invite you to prepare your heart by taking a few minutes to pray now. <laughs> Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Amen. Please stand as we sing the opening hymn found on page one.
now recite the Apostles' Creed, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sit on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. be seated, please turn in your hymn book to page 344. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who governs history, for the past one week, you have protected our families and businesses, and we give you thanks for calling us to your house on this blessed day to work your and see our hearts and minds. Heavenly Father, there were times when we didn't live by following your will. We have committed sins knowingly and unknowingly. We pray that you would cleanse us by the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And we pray that the worship service that, that we give you with your hearts and minds will be delivered to you up in heaven. Heavenly Father, the pandemic of COVID-19 has swept across the world and there are innocent lives being taken away with war taking place in Ukraine. There are divisions and chaos around the world. We pray that COVID-19 will come to a halt as soon as possible and we pray that peace will prevail across the globe. Heavenly Father, we pray that you would take pity on our country and our people we went through the time of sorrow where innocent lives were uh, taken away due to the accident in Itaewon. We pray that you would give comfort to the bereaved families and relatives. And Heavenly Father, 
there are divisions within our society and there are nuclear threats coming from North Korea. We know that the solution to every problem lies in Jesus. We pray that you would solve all of our problems. We pray for our president and every politician. We pray that you would give them wisdom and insight in order to steer this country in the right way. Heavenly Father, may every Korean church stand up rightly and may they be armed with your word fully and may they be filled with passion, longing for your word. We pray that you would bless young groups of this church and you have blessed this church to be armed with the faith of absolute positivity and absolute thankfulness. May we be changed first so that we will change the rest of the country. We pray for Pastor Young Lee to receive the anointing of the Holy Spirit and may he be filled with the Holy Spirit at all times. When he preaches your word, may those who are oppressed be released and may those who are sick be healed and may those who have problems receive solutions to their problems. Heavenly Father, we pray that the river of life will overflow in our lives. May we be granted with the fullness of the Holy Spirit once again. And we pray that we will go out into the world to become powerful witnesses of your word. We pray that every helping hand of this worship service will, will receive your blessings. And we pray that every place worshiping with us via the internet will receive the same blessings and grace as us. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. We welcome all of our foreign guests to Yoido Full Gospel Church. This is Sharon bringing you a simultaneous interpretation of the service so you may be able to join us for worship. Today's scripture is found in Genesis chapter 37, verses 18 to 20. Now let us read Genesis chapter 37, 18 to 20. But they saw him in the distance, and before he reached them, they plotted to kill him. Here comes that dreamer, they said to each other. Come now, let's kill him and throw him into one of these cisterns and say that a ferocious animal devoured him. Then we'll see what comes of his dreams. Amen. You may now take off your headphones and enjoy listening to the choir music.
Thank you for the precious song, Let Us Grieve One Another. Today is a truly good day. Good things will happen to all of us. Good things will surely happen to all of us. We are one week away from Thanksgiving Sunday, and I'm grateful that we are all here, gather to worship God. All things are done by the grace of God. And I hope that we will celebrate Thanksgiving with grateful heart next week. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, who is full of love, grace, and mercy. We give you thanks again and again. For the past three years, we, all of us can come not all of us could come to the church because of COVID-19. As we are seeing easing measures of COVID-19, more and more people are able to come to the church. We pray that all of our worship services will be restored and may our Thanksgiving be restored. May we all enjoy life where we may enjoy good health and that all may go well with us even as our souls are getting along well. We give you thanks, honor, and glory. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today, I'd like to share the grace of God under the title, Here Comes That Dreamer, based on Genesis chapter 37, verses 18 to 20. Please repeat after me. Here comes that dreamer. Here comes that dreamer. We live life only once. We must have clear dreams and goals as we live our lives. There is a common thing when it comes to su successful people. They all had dreams. There was a research done in two, 500 people that were very successful across the world, and they found out that they all had clear dreams and goals. We are a God's children, God who created the heavens and the earth loves us very much and all of us must have dreams and we must march forward with faith in order to accomplish all of our dreams Hebrews 11 1 to 2 say now faith is confident in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see this is what the ancients were commanded for when dreamers move forward with faith dreams come to pass dreams without faith are merely just dreams. Dreams with faith will come to pass. We must have dreams and move forward by looking to the dreams. Most importantly, we must have holy dreams in the Lord. We must have brilliant dreams given by the Lord. When we think about a dreamer, we remember Joseph. Genesis chapter 37 shows a story of Joseph. Whenever Joseph woke up, he talked about his dream, so his brothers all hated Joseph. Why? Because his brothers didn't have dreams. People without dreams envy those with dreams. So Joseph's brothers that didn't have dreams hated Joseph all the more. Genesis 37, 5 says, Joseph had a dream and he told it to his brothers. They hated him all the more. His brothers hated him all the more. And Joseph said that binding sheaves were bow bowing down to me. Genesis 37, 6 to 7 said, he said to them, listen to this dream I had. We were binding sheaves of grain out in the field when suddenly my sheaf rose and stood upright while your sheaves gathered around mine and bowed down to it. So Joseph told his dream to his brothers. And Joseph also told his dreams about how stars and the moon bow down to him. Uh, 
So his brothers said to each other, What is he that he's telling us all these dreams to us? Genesis 37, 8 says his brothers said to him, Do you intend to reign over us? Will you actually rule us? And they hated him all the more because of his dream and what he had said. His brothers didn't have dreams, so they hated Joseph, who dreamed of his dreams. His brothers just tended the flocks of sheep, and they live each day without dreams and goals. Just like other shepherds, they just lived by wandering around. And when Joseph told his brothers about his dreams, his brothers began to hate him to the point where they wanted to kill him. I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will embrace holy dreams in the Lord. And when you move forward by embracing those dreams, those dreams will guide our life. Even though things are invisible and things are untouchable, as long as we move forward by embracing our dreams, God will help us to make those dreams come to pass. Have clear dreams in the Lord and move forward vigorously. We must have clear dreams. We shouldn't just dream dreams. We must embrace clear dreams. We shouldn't live our life without purpose and direction. We must have clear dreams and hold on to that dream with faith. In order to accomplish our dreams, there will be a process of hardships. Dreams don't just come to pass right away. We must make utmost efforts to fulfill our dreams. When we do so, our dreams will come to pass. There is a singer group called BTS. BTS is well known across the world now. Who would have thought that they will become so famous across the globe? Each member of the group put utmost efforts to become one of the top singer groups across the globe. Worldly people make all-out efforts to fulfill their dreams. So we must also make our most efforts by embracing holy dreams. Romans 5, 3 to 4 say, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. Joseph went through four different hardships because of his dreams. What was his first hardship? His first hardship was that his brothers tried to kill him. His brothers put him into a sister, and Joseph was sold as a slave. Genesis 37, 28 says the following, So when the Midianite merchants came by, his brothers pulled Joseph up out of the sister and sold him for 20 shekels of silver to the Ishmaelites, who took him to Egypt. Joseph was hated by his brothers, and Joseph was on the brink of death. Joseph received all the love from his father, so his brothers were jealous of him. Joseph was sold as slave, and slaves were not respected. They weren't. They were treated so unfairly, and lived in the midst of pain. However. Joseph, on the other hand, didn't consider his hardship as obstacles. Genesis 31, 39 one says, Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt. Potiphar, an Egyptian, who was one of Pharaoh's officials, the captain of the guard, bought him from the Ishmaelites who had taken him there. Joseph was treated unfairly even in the midst of hardships. His dreams didn't disappear. He held on to his dreams and moved forward by faith. So even though he had worked as slave, he enjoyed prosperity given by the Lord. Genesis 39 2 says the Lord was with Joseph so that he prospered and he lived in the house of his Egyptian master. Even in the midst of difficult life of slave, 
his dream made him to enjoy prosperity and his master recognized his work. Genesis 39, 17 to 18 and 20 say, Then she told him the story. That Hebrew slave you brought us came to me and made sport of me. But as soon as I screamed for help, he left his cloak beside me and ran out of the house. Joseph's master took him and put him in prison, the place where the king's prisoners were confined. Joseph was falsely accused by the wife of Potiphar, so he was kept in prison. Despite this situation, Joseph dreams to disappear in prison because the Lord is with him. He enjoyed peace. Genesis 39, 21 and 23 say, The Lord was with him. He showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. The warden paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care because the Lord was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. Even though Joseph was in prison, he was different from others. Warden paid attention to every prisoner, but warden had trusted Joseph and he paid no attention to anything under Joseph's care. So Joseph found favor in the eyes of the prison warden. And warden realized that Joseph had committed no sin, that he was falsely accused. So can you imagine a prison warden committing all things to a prisoner? Is this even possible? Because the Lord was with Joseph, he was able to receive favor from the prison warden. Joseph interpreted dreams of the cupbearer and the baker. And Joseph told the cupbearer that when you are released from the prison, please tell the king that I have no sin and help me to get out of the prison. Pharaoh didn't know the story of Joseph, so the cupbearer, when he is released from the prison, had to tell the king about the story of Joseph in order for Joseph to be released from the prison. When cupbearer was released from the prison, he had to tell the king about the story of Joseph, but he had completely forgot about Joseph. Genesis 40, 14 to 15 and 23 say, but when all goes well with you, remember me and show me kindness, mention me to Pharaoh and get me out of this prison. I was forcefully carried off from the land of the Hebrews, and even here I have done nothing to deserve being put in a dungeon. The chief, gear, chief cupbearer, however, did not remember Joseph. He forgot him. The cupbearer had promised Joseph that he will get him out of the prison, but when cupbearer was out of the prison, he was he completely forgot about Joseph. And Joseph thought that, oh, now that cupbearer is out of the prison, I will also be out of the prison within a day or two. So jo Joseph kept waiting in the prison. And Joseph thought that, oh, maybe they're busy taking care of business out in the palace. Or maybe I just need to wait for a few more days. And Joseph waited on the third day and the fourth day and the fifth day. He waited more and more. He dated, waited for days. And Joseph thought that the cupbearer had promised me to get me out of the prison. He waited for two years. But even in the midst of despair, Joseph held on to his dreams. Two years later, Pharaoh had a dream, and he was looking for a person who can interpret his dream. 
And then, at that time, the cupbearer remembered Joseph finally. And he said that Joseph, the Lord is always with Joseph, so Joseph was out of the prison, and he interpreted Pharaoh's dream. He was exalted from the lowest place. And Joseph became the prime minister of Egypt. When he, he became a prime minister of Egypt, he became a giver to uh, many people across the land. When Pharaoh's dream was interpreted by Joseph, Let's look at Genesis 41, 39 to 41. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, Since God has made all this known to you, there is no one so discerning and wise as you. You shall be in charge of my palace, and all my people are to submit to your orders. Only with respect to the throne will I be greater than you. So Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Within 13 years, his dreams came to pass, his despair turned into hope, everything turned into miracle. When the darkness comes, know that the dawn of hope will come. I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will embrace holy dreams and move forward with faith. Dream of brilliant dreams and hold on to those dreams. Then God will guide your future through your dreams. No matter what kind of hardships and difficulties may come across your way, do not fall in despair. Do not be discouraged. Think about what had happened to Joseph. What is the important lesson here today? Even after Joseph became the prime minister of Egypt, he didn't take revenge on his brothers. Even though Joseph was in a high place, he didn't call Potiphar and say, put him into prison. Joseph, there's no record of Joseph acting in that way, in that evil way. And Joseph didn't say, put the cupbearer who completely forgot about me for the past two years, put him, in, put him into prison. He didn't say any of that. And think about what he had done to his brothers. Genesis 45, 5 and 8 say, And now do not be distressed and do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. So then it was not you who sent me here, but God. He made me father to Pharaoh, lord of his entire household and ruler of all Egypt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God embraces and forgives those who have committed sin. And Joseph resembled God's heart, that his heart was filled with compassion and mercy, that he forgave his brothers that had sold him to Egypt. And Joseph also invited his father to Egypt. Correction, Joseph's brothers were in fear. Genesis 50, 19-21 say, But Joseph said to them, Do not be afraid. Am I in the place of God? You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. So then don't be afraid. I will provide for you and your children. And He assured them and spoke kindly to them. Joseph, even though he was in a high place, didn't harm those who had harmed him. True successful, pe true successful people show generosity and gratitude to all people. They don't try to harm those that had harmed them. They don't take revenge. And the Jews 
are trained and educated not to criticize and slander others since they are young. But think about what's happening around in Korea. People are at the forefront of criticizing others. They blame one another. Why do God's children criticize one another? And I remember visiting Israel, and I witnessed people not criticizing and blaming one another. And I remember meeting someone in a high place in Egypt, in Israel, and I found out that he supports the bill of homosexuality. So I went up to him and, and started talking about how he should be against supporting homosexuality, and I criticized him once, but he didn't criticize me back. So we as Christians must be at the forefront of loving one another and speaking good words to people. I would like to share with you a testimony of a dreamer today. There is a doctor named Ryu Taeyang. He was born in a remote countryside in Jeolla, Bukdo province. He was born as a son of a farm servant. He lived in the midst of poverty. He couldn't even go to elementary school. And the owner of his house supported his education because his family was so poor to send him to school. Um, when he met his pastor at church, he learned how to pray, and he then began to attend early morning service. He said the following, I wasn't a morning person, but early in the morning, I would wake up and run to the church to pray. It was almost impossible to meet the president of the country and minister of a country, but how can I be lazy to meet our almighty God? I went to the early morning service every day to pray for my dreams. And I want to remind you that we also have early morning prayer service all this week. This little boy, Ryu Taeyong, prayed to receive education all his life, and he had a dream about uh, making advancement of the farming industry. His rich owner of the house supported him, and he was able to finish elementary school by his support. And he also went to middle school and high school at the age of 18. He slept out in the open because he was poor, and he even scooped food up off the ground. He sold newspapers. He cleaned shoes for others. And he said one time after delivering newspapers, I was so hungry. And when I was passing through a trash can, I found out a, bowl, a bag of rice. I was so hungry that I picked up that bag and began to eat rice, and I cried over and over again, looking at myself, eating this garbage, but I was still thankful to God for giving me this food. And he didn't even have underclothes to wear, even in the midst of severe winter. He always dreamed of advancing the farming industry. And by the grace of God, he, he wanted to go to Denmark to study abroad because Denmark was an advanced country when it came to farming industry. And he wrote a letter 
to Frederick IX of Denmark so that he can study abroad in Denmark. And by the grace of God, he was able to go there and, and study. After finishing his education in Denmark, he contributed greatly to the farming industry of Korea. And he also became a professor at Ben Gurion University in Israel. And after serving as a professor there, he came back to Korea and served as the vice president of Congo University. He contributed greatly to the development of farming industry in Korea. He said the following I was so dull that I couldn't find out what the will of God is. That I was just confused. So I just read the Bible and studied the Bible, and I didn't neglect to pray. I had to ask God for answers in every matter. The most important thing when it comes to prayer is to read the Bible and to pray by relying on the Word. Due to the power of prayer, he was able to accomplish all of his dreams. I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will dream of holy dreams and move forward. What kind of dreams do you have today? I hope that you will teach your children to embrace dreams. And I hope that you will all embrace missional dreams as well. Hold on to your dreams and move forward with faith. Then God will pour down His blessings and grace upon you. Have you been living your life without dreams? I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will all find what your dreams are today and embrace them in your heart. dream of holy dreams and accomplish them and give glory to God. Dreams will surely come to pass until your dreams come to pass. Do not step back and move forward vigorously by holding on to faith. I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will live this kind of life. I bless you, I bless you, I bless you. Let us sing in this hymn together. <laughs> I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm I bless you in the name of the Lord that you will all dream of holy dreams. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who is full of love, grace, and mercy, even though we've been living our life without dreams, we pray that we will all embrace dreams in our hearts. 
starting today and move forward with faith. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please close your eyes momentarily and listen to this prayer. What is your life? Your life is like a mist that disappears quickly. There is no greater blessing than to believe in Jesus in our path called life that disappears like a mist. If you are here at church for the first time and would like to believe in Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please stand up where you are. If you do not have assurance of salvation and would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please stand up where you are. Make your determination now and repeat after this prayer. Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. I do not know where I've come from. I do not know why I'm living. I've been living my life wandering around in this world for my sins. Jesus died on the cross and was resurrected. I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I've become God's child. From this day forward, I will live with the Lord. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I welcome you in the name of the Lord. We must all dream dreams. Let us all stand up and pray to the Lord so that we can embrace holy dreams in our life. The Republic of Korea must dream of turning chaos and divisions into hope and dreams and we know that we will all enjoy a life where we may enjoy good health and that will make all with us even as our souls are getting along well. Let us pray to the Lord by calling his name three times. Let's pray. Please place your hand over the place where you're sick. If you have dreams, please place your hand over your heart. Heavenly Father, who is in love, grace, and mercy, we have placed our hands of faith over us. We pray that all our dreams and goals will come to pass. May worries, anxiety, and fear leave, flee away. May every disease flee away. May severe headache, insomnia, depression, neurosis, and all kinds of mental illnesses leave. May problems of our eyes, nose, mouth, and throat flee away. May spinal cord problems, kidney problems leave. May high blood pressure diabetes, cancers, tumors, leave me, skin diseases, incurable diseases, and infertility, leave me, prayer requests of our children be answered, and may those who are praying receive prosperity, and may we all enjoy prosperity in our households, believe that you have received what you have asked for, we give you honor, glory, and thanks, and in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let us say to one another, your dream will come to pass. Please have a seat. There is someone with pain in the left chest. God is healing him at this time. There is someone with severe pain in both shoulders. God is healing her at this time. There is someone who has been suffering with long pain of the stomach. God is healing him at this time. 
There is someone who can control his bowel movement. God is healing her at this time. God is healing those that are struggling against cancer. Arthritis is healed now. Arthritis has left him. There is someone with depression. God is healing her. And I, remem I just remember now that one of our church members came to me and received prayer because of her cancer. After receiving prayer, her cancer was completely cured. When we pray, all our diseases will be healed. Please repeat after me. Dreams that we dream of in the Lord will surely come to pass. Hallelujah. Let us now give offerings with a joyful heart. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, who is full of love, grace, and mercy, and who is truly good, we give you thanks for your tremendous grace and love. We also give you thanks for calling us to the place of worship, to worship with, with sincere hearts and minds. Through Pastor Young Lee, you have given us the word of the truth and the life. We give you thanks for everything that you have done for us because we are thankful for the grace received. We are giving our precious offerings to you. Help us to give our offerings with thankful and joyful hearts. We pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit to guide our hearts. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Sunday English interpretation is provided for the following worship service 7 a.m., 9 a.m., 11 a.m., 1 p.m., and 3 p.m. On Wednesday, English interpretation is provided for our service at 10.30 a.m. On Friday, English interpretation is provided for our all-night prayer meeting from 8.30 p.m. until 10 p.m. We have English Friday night worship service at 8.30 p.m. in the second education building on the sixth floor in James Hall. We have English Sunday worship service at 9.11 a.m. in the second education building on the sixth floor in James Hall. <laughs>
할렐루야 다음 주일이 무슨 주일이죠? 추수감사주일 예. Next week is Thanksgiving Sunday. All of our church members will be able to gather for Thanksgiving Sunday in three years now. And we will also be giving out very tasty rice cakes so that we can you can share them with your family members to celebrate Thanksgiving. And for this week, we will be having Thanksgiving early morning prayer. And on Thursday, we will all be praying for students that are that will be taking the SATs. And think about the testimony that I share with you today on Dr. Yu Taeyong. He didn't skip a day to attend early morning prayer. And let us all prepare to give Thanksgiving offering to the Lord next week. And Let us pray, Heavenly Father, who is full of love, grace, and mercy. We pray that those who have given offerings will enjoy prosperity in their life so that they can live their lives by helping neighbors around them. There are Sunday offerings, mission offerings, heart hospital offerings, and offerings in many forms. We pray that they will all receive your blessings in a tremendous way. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Please stand as we sing the Lord's Prayer.
now, may the infinite grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of our Father God, and the indwelling fellowship and guidance of the Holy Spirit be with you and of your family members abundantly. Amen. As your interpreter, it has been a pleasure to help you on this Sunday service. May God be with you and bless you until we meet again. Chusugamsa, 세가족 전용 주차장으로 운영되어 오니 참조하여 주시기 바랍니다. 오늘 결실한 분들을 위한 세가족 환영회가 베들레헴 성전에서 있습니다. 온라인 세가족 분들은 교회 홈페이지 및 모바일 앱으로 등록 및 교육에 참여하실 수 있습니다. 이상 교회 소식을 마치겠습니다. 성도님들은 남녀 선교의 안내에 따라 질서 있게 귀가해 주시기 바랍니다.
성도 여러분, 주님 안에서 평안하셨습니까? 11월 둘째 주 FGTV 뉴스입니다. 2022 가정과 자녀 축복 또 추수감사 특별새벽 기도회가 7일부터 두 주간의 일정으로 시작됐습니다. 첫 소식 윤건희 리포터가 전해드립니다. 감사의 계절이 무르익고 있는 시기인데요. 감사의 축복을 주제로 열린 이번 특별 새벽 기도회에는 말씀과 기도를 사모하는 성도들이 꾸준히 나와 한해 동안 인도하신 하나님의 은혜를 돌아보고 점검했습니다. 또 하나님의 사람으로 살아가려는 겸손과 순종을 결단하며 풍성한 복음의 결실을 맺는 추수감사절을 기원했습니다. 지난 한주 강단에는 이영훈 목사를 비롯해 윤광현, 김호성, 고영용 부목사가 은혜의 말씀을 전했습니다. 12일 강단에서 이영훈 목사는 넘치는 은혜의 말씀을 전했습니다. 우리가 영적인 군사가 되어야 됩니다. 일당 백의 용사가 되어야 되는 것입니다. 영적 전쟁의 승리자가 되어야 되는 것입니다. 그래서 주 앞에 나와서 예배 드리는 일이 너무나 기쁘고 감사하고 와, 말씀 보고 기도하는 것이 너무나 좋고 나와서 모을 때마다 기도하고 흩어 전도하고 보험을 전하고 최상을 실천하고 이것이 우리의 삶에 가장 기쁨이 되어야 됩니다 예배 드리는 것이 너무나 좋고 말씀 보는 것이 너무나 좋고 찬양하고 기도하는 것이 너무나 좋은 것이 우리의 삶의 모습이 되어야 되는 것입니다 참석자들은 17일 대학 수학능력시험에 응시하는 수험생을 위해 또 취업을 준비하는 취업생들을 위해 그리고 안전한 대한민국을 위해 간절히 기도했습니다. 절대 긍정과 절대 감사의 믿음으로 무장한 성도들의 삶 가운데 감사의 축복과 은혜가 가득하기를 기대해봅니다. FTV 뉴스 윤건입니다 이영은 목사는 7일부터 9일까지 싱가포르에서 개최된 아시아 리더 서밋 2022에 참석해 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 위대한 부흥과 연대를 위한 방안을 논의했습니다. 계속해서 윤건희 리포터입니다. 아시아 교회여 성령과 함께 일어나라를 주제로 열린 ALS 2022는 싱가포르의 선교적 가치와 중요성을 재확인할 시간이었습니다. 싱가포르는 영어와 중국어, 말레이어, 타밀어를 공식 언어로 사용할 정도로 세계적으로 문화와 언어의 장벽이 거의 없는 도시국가입니다. 이영훈 목사는 사흘간의 일정 상당 기간을 교회의 미래 인재를 세워가고 있는 신학교들을 방문하며 학생들을 격려하고 축복했습니다. 첫 일정으로 이영훈 목사는 트리니티 크리스천 센터가 설립한 TCA 대학을 방문했습니다. 이곳에서 데니슬럼 총장과 도미닉 여 부총장의 안내를 받아 학교를 둘러봤고 또 강의실을 방문해 학생들을 격려했습니다. 계속해서 싱가포르 교회 리더들과 오찬을 겸한 교제를 가졌습니다. 이 시간 CGI 이사인 콩이 목사는 이영훈 목사에게 존경과 사랑의 마음을 담아 CGI 총재 취임 축하패를 전했습니다. I just want to congratulate Dr. Yang Hun Lee. for being the CGI chairman. We are so happy that the successor to Dr. Yonggi Cho is Dr. Yang Hun Lee, a mighty man of God. Dr. Lee, we love you. All of Asia and the whole world, we respect you, and we are excited for your leadership to lead all of us megachurch pastors into the future. God bless you, Dr. Lee. 오후에는 액츠 신학교를 방문해 개교 45주년 감사 예배를 인도했습니다. 학생들과 교수, 또 말레이시아와 싱가포르의 목회자들이 함께한 예배에서 이영훈 목사는 사역에 있어 가장 중요한 것은 기도라며 기도의 삶을 역설했습니다. 설교 후에는 이 학교의 KCNG 총장에게 45주년 축하패를 전했습니다. 8일 오전에는 엔데믹과 아시아 교회의 주요 변화를 주제로 ALS 모임이 개최됐습니다. 모두 발언을 전한 이영우 목사는 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 큰 부흥을 위해 ALS의 역할을 강조했고 또 ALS 멤버십 확대와 이사회 구성을 위한 논의를 가졌습니다. We are all here. We are having a wonderful time learning together. We are grateful to be alive, to be healthy. and to continue to have this opportunity to serve Him. I want to encourage all of you, as long as God gives you life and health, please serve Him. God bless you. 
같은 날 오후에는 복음주의 초교파 신학교인 싱가포르 바이블 대학을 방문했습니다. 이 자리에선 글로벌 엘림 재단에 대한 소개와 향후 협력을 위한 의견 교환이 있었습니다. 일정 마지막 날 마련된 컨퍼런스는 ALS 2022 초청 교회인 트리니티 크리스천 센터에서 있었습니다. 이 시간 말레이시아 글래드 타이딩 교회 빈센트 레오 목사와 국제 CCC 부총재 박성민 목사, 유홍형 목사, 코너스톤 커뮤니티 교회의 양턱윤 목사가 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 재도약을 위한 발제를 가졌고 러스 마틴이 로잔 정신을 주제로 발표했습니다. 계속해서 ALS의 정신인 아시아인에 의한 아시아 보그마를 말하며 오직 성령과 함께 사명을 다해 가자고 강조했습니다. As we know, the most important part is the fullness of the Holy Spirit. Without the help of the Holy Spirit, we cannot pursue the all our goals. 또 이영훈 목사는 코리아 스타일의 통성 기도를 설명했고 참석자들은 각자의 모국어로 주여 삼창을 외치며 아시아 교회의 사명을 위해 한 마음으로 기도했습니다. 폼포라스를 마치며 ALS 총재인 이영훈 목사는 이번 2022 ALS 콘퍼런스를 주관한 싱가포르 트리니티 크리스천 센터에 감사패를 수여했습니다. What a joy and privilege it is to have uh, Dr. Yong Hoon Lee and the Asian Leaders Summit happening right here in Singapore. God is doing something mightily among the Asian churches, and I thank God for what He's doing in Yoido Full Gospel Church as well. Once again, thank you and greetings right here from Singapore. 반가운 만남도 있었습니다. 우리 교회 출석하다 싱가포르에서 사역하고 있는 선교사 부부가 콘퍼런스에 참석했고 이영우 목사는 이들을 안수하고 축복했습니다. 코로나 이후 아시아 교회의 연대와 동반 부흥을 견인해갈 아시아 리더스 서밋의 역할이 주목받고 있습니다. FTV 뉴스 윤관입니다. 이영은 목사는 지난 30일부터 한주 동안 순복음 실업인 성교연합회와 교회성장연구소가 공동으로 주최한 튀르키의 성지순례에 함께했습니다. 김선태 리포터가 보도합니다. 튀르키에는 우리나라 면적의 8배 정도 되는 면적을 가진 나라로 이슬람교가 99%를 차지하고 있습니다. 아이러니하지만 이 땅은 예수님의 제자들이 활발하게 복음을 전하던 곳으로 사도 바울의 발자취가 남아 있고 또 초대 교인들이 신앙을 지키기 위해 무던히 애쓰던 곳입니다. 성지 순례에는 우리 교회 성도들과 강남 분당, 송파 광명, 영상교회 목회자와 성도들이 함께 했습니다. 첫 일정은 트르키의 수도 이스탄불에 있는 로마 시대 대 경기장 유적인 히포드롬에서 시작했고. 계속해서 유네스코 문화유산에 등재된 성소피아 대성당을 방문했습니다. 이 성당은 그리스 종교회로 시작해 카톨릭 성당으로 또 오스만 제국 시기에는 모스크로 사용되었으며 현재는 박물관으로 쓰이고 있습니다. 또 300개의 석굴교회가 남아있는 괴렘의 골짜기에 가파도기아를 방문해 열기구를 체험했고 석굴교회 안에 들어가 신앙 선진들의 믿음을 본받기 위한 다짐을 새롭게 했습니다. 이 자리에서 이영훈 목사는 하나님의 은혜를 기억하고 영적 회복을 이루자고 당부했습니다. 우리가 풍요로움 속에서 이 하나님의 은혜를 잊어버리고 사는데 지금 사실은 코로나 19로 말면 아마 3년이라는 고난의 기간이 지나고 다시 회복의 때가 다가왔는데 이제 모든 교회가 영적으로 큰 붕이 있기를 간절히 소원합니다. 아멘. 참석자들은. 좋으신 하나님을 부르며 고난 앞에 신앙을 지킨 선진들의 믿음을 기억하며 온전한 그리스도인의 삶을 다짐했습니다. 같은 날 터키에서 사역하는 선교사들을 식사 자리로 초청해 격려하고 선교 지원금을 전했습니다. 다음 날 오전에는 호텔에서 수요 성찬 예배를 드렸습니다. 이 시간 이영훈 목사는 언제든 주님 앞에 서라는 면전 의식, 코람데오의 삶을 당부했습니다. 코람데오, 하나님 앞에서의 의식이다. 하나님 앞에서, 나 구세주 예수님 앞에서 내 생각과 내 말과 내 행동이 모든 것이 주님을 바라보면서 주님과 얘기하듯이 얘기하고 주님 앞에서 일하듯이 일을 하고 주님 보실 때 잘하였도다, 착하고 충성된 종아 이 칭찬을. 
받을 수 있게 되기를 바랍니다. 설교에 이어 참석자들은 예수님의 몸과 피를 기념하는 성찬식을 가졌고 계속해서 이태원 참사 피해자들의 회복을 위해 또 칭찬받는 주님의 사람들이 되도록 기도했습니다. 이날 예배 때 드린 헌금은 전액 이태원 사고 피해자 가족들을 위해 드리기로 했습니다. 예배 후엔 소아시아의 일곱 교회 중 안디오 교회와 라우디게아 교회, 빌라델비아 교회, 성요한교회 등을 방문해 믿음의 선진들의 신앙과 마주했습니다. 어떠한 역경에도 굴하지 않는 바울의 전도 열정, 또 초기 교회 신앙 선진들과 마주했던 트리키의 성지순례, 신앙 생활의 각오와 다짐을 점검하게 한 시간이었습니다. FGTV 뉴스 김선태입니다. 재능기부 나눔센터는 4일과 5일 양일간 캄보디아에서 코리안 드림을 이루고자 전남 화순에 정착한 이유정 씨의 보금자리를 깨끗이 수리해주고 돌아왔습니다. 이찬미 리포터입니다. 패션 디자이너가 되고자 캄보디아에서 한국으로 온 결혼 이주 여성 이유정 씨. 소장농인 남편의 수입만으로는 생활비 마련도 어려웠고 가옥도 오래돼 너무 춥지만 가정 형편상 보일러도 많이 켜지 못합니다. 새벽녘 여의도를 출발한 재능기부 나눔센터는 현장 도착과 함께 사전에 세운 계획에 따라 낡은 창틀을 분리했고 곰팡이 가득한 벽지와 색바랜 장판도 걷어냈습니다. 골조만 놔뒀을 뿐 전체를 드러내고 시작하는 공사는 일사불란하게 진행됐습니다. 도배와 장판을 새로 했고 새 침대와 가구, 냉장고도 선물했습니다. 봉사자들의 손길이 닿은 집은 그야말로 황골탈태했습니다. 우리 교회 재능기부 나눔센터의 사랑의 섬김이 캄보디아에서 온 유정 씨 가족의 꿈을 이뤄가는 응원가가 되길 기대해봅니다. FGTV 뉴스 이찬미입니다. 이번 주 선교지 소식은 1984년 브라질 깐포그란데로 파송받아 바나날 인디언촌에서 사역하고 있는 김용환 선교사가 보내왔습니다. 김용환 선교사는 39년간 한결같은 열정으로 인디언들에게 생명의 복음을 전하고 있는데요. 복음을 접한 많은 사람들이 성령을 체험하고 방언 기도를 하고 있습니다. 천막 교회로부터 시작해 지금껏 17개 교회를 세웠으며 많은 인디언 사역자들이 배출돼 각 교회를 섬기고 있습니다. 또 유치원 교육과 제자 훈련, 양육 사역을 통해 복음 전파에 힘쓰고 있습니다. 10년 전부터는 성령의 강력한 인도하심을 받아 깐포그란데 북쪽 인디언 부족 복음화에 나서고 있습니다. 코로나로 인해 잠시 중단했다가 올해 8월 재개됐는데 그곳에 가기 위해서는 비행기를 타고 6시간, 차로 380km를 달려야 합니다. 그리고 다시 배를 타고 엠비라강을 닷새 동안 거슬러 올라가야 합니다. 배를 타고 이동하던 첫날 배가 뒤집혀 모두 물에 빠지기도 하고 한 명이 다리를 다치는 등 어려움도 있었지만 하나님의 은혜와 인도하심으로 목적지에 다다를 수 있었습니다. 닷새 만에 아세니카 부족 마을에 닿았고 그곳엔 45세대가 자신들의 문화와 부족 언어를 가지고 생활하고 있었습니다. 그곳의 추장은 자신의 마을에 복음을 전하고 성전을 세워달라고 요청했고 김 성교사와 일행은 성전 건축을 약속하고 성경과 찬송가를 선물했습니다. 마데아 부족도 방문했는데 추장과 아들이 복음을 영접하고 성전을 세워달라는 요청을 했습니다. 복음 전파를 위해 39년을 달려왔지만 지금도 많은 사람들이 복음을 알지 못함을 보며 아직 쉴 때가 아님을 깨닫게 됩니다. 주님 오시는 그날까지 아마존 인디언 복음화를 위해 최선을 다할 수 있도록 기도 요청드립니다. 한 주간 우리 교회 단신입니다. 순복음 성교회 이사장 이영훈 목사는 6일 전영훈 목사를 필리핀 성교사로 파송하고 축복했습니다. 이영훈 목사는 6일 원로 장로의 임원진과 만나 교회 부흥을 위해 한 마음 한 뜻으로 하나 되자고 당부했습니다. 루마니아 선교팀이 6일 우리 교회에 방문했습니다. 
이들은 우리 교회 홍보 영상을 시청했고 평양에 건립하고 있는 심장병원 등에 대해 질문하며 북한 선교에 큰 관심을 보였습니다. 계속해서 대성전에 있는 조용기 목사 기념모를 견학했고 주일 저녁 예배에 참석했습니다. 수능을 한주 앞둔 10일 관악대교구는 대교구 산하전 기도처에서 자녀를 위한 1시간 집중 기도회를 갖고 입시와 취업 또 자녀들의 모든 삶을 하나님께 의탁하며 간절히 기도했습니다. 같은 날 양천대교구와 반석대교구도 기도원에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 감사가 넘치는 교구사역이 되도록 강구했습니다. 이에 앞선 8일에는 은평대교구와 마포 일대교구에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 성령의 충만함을 위해 간구했습니다. 또 3일에는 마포 이대교구에서 성령 대망회와 전도 발대식을 갖고 풍성한 복음 열매를 위해 전심을 다하자고 다짐했습니다. 같은 날 종로중구대교구도 성령 대망회를 갖고 더욱 견고한 믿음을 위해 기도했습니다. 4일에는 청장연국 장년대교구에서 성령 대망회를 갖고 늘 주님보다 앞서지 않고 늘 겸손한 마음으로 주님을 따라가는 삶을 다짐했습니다. 또 30일에는 새 성북성전에서 멕시코에서 사역하는 이유한 선교사를 초청해 성령 대망회를 갖고 사명을 새롭게 했습니다. 국제구호개발 엔주 구피푸른 6일 경북 구미강동교회에서 희귀난 안질성 질환 아동을 돕기 위한 구피풀 러브 콘서트를 가졌습니다. 이날 콘서트엔 마음 전파상이 참여해 바테르 중후군을 갖고 태어난 지우의 사례를 소개하며 나눔에 참여하도록 독려했습니다. 이번 주 오산이 기도원에서는 새일이 일어나는 영적 대성회가 진행됩니다. 저희가 준비한 소식은 여기까지입니다. 시청해주신 여러분 고맙습니다. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 주일 오후 예배 가운데 나오신 여러분들을 주님의 이름으로 환영합니다. 우리 옆 사람과 이렇게 인사하시겠습니다. 참잘 오셨습니다. 시간 모르다 그 자리 가운데서 일어나서 사도 신경으로 신앙을 고백하시겠습니다. 전능하사 천지를 만드신 하나님 아버지를 내가 믿사오며. 
그 외아들 우리 주 예수 그리스도를 믿사오니 이는 성령으로 잉태하사 동정녀 마리아에게 나시고 본디오 빌라도에게 고난을 받으사 십자가에 못 박혀 죽으시고 장사한 지 사흘 만에 죽은 자 가운데서 다시 살아나시며 하늘에 오르사 전능하신 하나님 우편에 앉아 계시다가 저리로서 산자와 죽은 자를 심판하러 오시리라 성령을 믿사오며 거룩한 공예와 성도가 서로 교통하는 것과 죄를 사하여 주시는 것과 몸이 다시 사는 것과 영원히 사는 것을 믿사옵나이다 아멘 할렐루야 하나님께 영광의 박수 올려드립니다 그 아름다우신 이름 그 주님의 이름을 찬양합니다 대초의 말씀이 계시니 대초의 말씀이 계시니 
주셨네 죄와 무너 잠잠케 해온 하늘 외쳐 영광 찬양해 주 예수 다시 사셨네 맞설 자 
그 아름다우신 이름 그 주님께 영광의 박수 올려드립니다 주님 찬양합니다 구원의 주님 능력의 주님 찬양합니다 할렐루야 함께 찬양하시겠습니다 찬양 중에 찬양 중에 I'm not a f r a 
그 주님 모든 기회 소리만이 우리의 첫사랑 되십니다 첫사랑 되신 주님께 우리가 힘차게 찬양하겠습니다 할렐루야 예수 나의 첫사랑 되시는내 첫사랑 주종자 되신 그리스도 예수 찬양하니 예수 예수 나의 첫사랑 되시는 첫사랑 지성자 되신 그리스도 예수 찬양하니 보좌 앞에 나의 삶이 감기로운 제사로 죽게 그려지길 원하네 
주님을 사랑합니다 이 시간 좌정하사 다스려 주시옵시고 나를 만나 주시옵소서 주여 선치하시고 동성으로 기도하시겠습니다 주여 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 Father God, we give, give thanks to you for your love and making us your children. We give thanks to you for protecting us during the week and let us gather here at your chapel to praise you and worship you. Father God, we rely on your love and grace. Please let all the souls here to be cleansed with the holy blood of Jesus Christ. And please, God, save us and let us experience the great miracles of yours. Father God, have mercy on this nation and people. Let no accidents happen again. And from the politics to economy, let this country be stabilized. And let the North and South be reunited peacefully by the power of the gospel. Father God, give the politicians wisdom and let them truly serve the people. And let this nation be strengthened by your gospel. And Father God, with the guide of the Holy Spirit, let this country spread the gospel through the world. And Father God, let us. Armed with absolute positivity and gratitude, and especially let the youthful gospel be overflowing with the grace and love of yours. There are many students who are preparing for their Korean SAT. Let them have the wisdoms of yours and let them be blessed by you. And let all our children be blessed in their. academic achievements and their business. Father God, please give power to our pastor who will deliver the sermon. And when the sermon is proclaimed, let all of us, let all the youthful gospel be overflowing with the gratitude. Please bless the manual choir and all the helping hands of the service. We give thanks to you and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You are now worshiping the fifth service of today. We welcome you to the Full Gospel Church, and we pray that this message in the choir will be a blessing to you. This is Eun Jung bringing you simultaneous translations for the service, so you may enjoy worshiping with us. God bless you today. <laughs> Today's scripture reading is found in 2 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. 2 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Let us read it together. In the course of time, David inquired of the Lord, Shall I go up to the one of the towns of Judah? He asked. The Lord said, Go up. David asked, Where shall I go? 
to Hebron, the Lord answered. So David went up there with his two wives, Ahinoam of Jezreel and Abigail, the widow of Nabal of Carmel. David also took the men who were with him, each with his family, and they settled in Hebron and its towns. Then the men of Judah came to Hebron, and there they anointed David king over the tribe of Judah. When David was told that it was the men from Jabesh Gilead who had buried Saul, he sent messengers to them to say to them, The Lord bless you for showing this kindness to Saul your master by burying him. May the Lord now show you kindness and faithfulness, and I too will show you the same favor because you have done this. Now then, be strong and brave, for Saul your master is dead, and the people of Judah have anointed me king over them. Amen. You may now enjoy the choir's music.
Hallelujah. At this moment, let us pray for our service and for our beautiful gospel church and for our senior pastor, Young Hun Lee, our leader, and for all our pastors, elders, officials, for them to achieve their missions and ministries. And also, let us pray for the Holy Spirit to be with us at this chapel at this moment. And let us unburden all our worries to the Lord and let us only focus on to the Lord. Let us call our Lord's name through times and pray in unison. Lord, Lord, Lord. Father God, let us give this worship service to you. Please guide our heart. Father God, let us unburden all our idols in the world and let us only focus on to you. Please guide our heart, Lord. Let us be recovered at this service and let our prayers be answered. And above all, let us experience the power of the Holy Spirit at this moment. Please be with us. Father God, let the wounded be healed and let them feel your great love. We unburden all our worries to you and we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us share the story of David, the man of God. This afternoon, I'd like to share a message under the title, repeat after me, The Life That Acknowledges God's Sovereignty. The Life That Acknowledges God's Sovereignty. I want all of you to live a life like this. I bless you in the name of the Lord. We use the expression acknowledging God's sovereignty a lot. What does it mean? What does it mean to acknowledge God's sovereignty? 
it means that we are giving, dedicating all our lives to the Lord. And what does this mean? It means that because we believe in the Lord, we trust in the Lord that we do not care about the result. The result that is given to us, we believe that it is the best result that God has given us. This is what a life that acknowledges God's sovereignty means. God showed himself to Samuel and he said he will judge the family of Eli. Eli asked Samuel, what did God say to you? And Samuel told him that God has told me that he will judge your family forever. And when Eli heard this, 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 18 says so samuel told him everything hiding nothing from him then eli said he is the lord let him do what is good in his eyes what did eli say because he is good let him do what is good in his eyes he confessed like this. If you give all your life to the Lord, you do not care no matter what happens, no matter what kind of result is given to you, it does not matter to you because you believe that it is the best result that you can have. A reformist Calvin, I guess you all know him. His wife was very weak. That after nine years of their marriage, his wife died because of disease. And one day, Calvin said to his wife in her sickbed, do not worry about our children, I will take care of them. And the wife said, I already gave my children to the Lord. Acknowledging God's sovereignty is that you are giving all your life to the Lord. And because you gave it all, you do not care about the result that is given to you because you believe you trust that the result that you received is the best that God can give you and these people do not worry because they already gave in their whole life to the Lord that they do not worry they know that God will be with them no matter what, that they do not worry. When we bungee jump, we really feel scared before we jump, but we do not have to worry because the string is attached that we, we don't have to worry about our life. Likewise, because we believe that God is holding on to us, that we do not worry in the world, we can live a more comfortable life than other people. I want all of you to acknowledge God's sovereignty by giving in all your life to the Lord. So, how can we do this? How can we acknowledge God's sovereignty? First, repeat after me. Do not precede the will of the Lord. In the Bible, David asked the Lord, 
in the course of time, David inquired of the Lord, Shall I go up to one of the towns of Judah? He asked. The Lord said, Go up. David asked, Where shall I go? To Hebron, the Lord answered. What does this mean? David asked the Lord, God, where should I go now? And let us think about this. What kind of question is this? What kind of situation was he in? Saul was dead. Finally, Saul was dead. And David was the one who was anointed by the Lord. And he was the one to succeed the throne. So now, what should David do? He can just go to the Gibeah where Saul was and he can be the king of Israel. It was the natural path that he could go. However, David inquired of the Lord, Lord, where should I go? He asked the Lord. Why did he ask the Lord, even though he knew where he should go? Why did, we, why did he ask the Lord this question? Because he did not want to proceed the will of the Lord. Because he decided and tried not to proceed the will of the Lord. So he inquired and inquired again. In 1 Samuel chapter 30, when he left for a while, the Amalekites attacked Ziklag and they destroyed all those towns and captured the family of David. When David knew this, how did he feel? It is written in 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 4 so David and his men wept aloud until they had no strength left to weep David's families were captured and he did not know whether they are alive or dead and he felt such misery and pain what would we have done we would have grabbed our weapons and we would have gone to kill the Amalekites. However, David was different. David did not do it. First Samuel chapter 30 verse 8 says, And David inquired of the Lord, Shall I pursue this raiding party? Raiding party, will I overtake them? He asked the Lord that if he pursued the Amalekites, he would be able to catch them. In this urgent situation, he did not do what he wanted to do, but he inquired the Lord what to do. He did not precede the will of the Lord. And... He knew that the Lord has his will on the situation that David asked the Lord first. Not only this was his try to not to proceed the will of the Lord. He had chances that he could kill Saul, but he did not. He must have wanted to kill Saul desperately, however, he did not. Even though he had the chances, he did not kill him because Saul was anointed by the Lord. And David knew, David trusted that the Lord has his will on Saul also, that he did not kill. Sal. So. 
are you preceding the will of the Lord or not? To realize the will of the Lord, are you inquiring the Lord all the time or are you just living your life by your own? We always have to ask the will of the Lord. I bless in the name of the Lord. Second, how can we live a life that acknowledges God's sovereignty? Go to the path where you should go. Please read 1 Samuel chapter 2. 2 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1. In the course of time, David inquired of the Lord, Shall I go up to one of the towns of Judah? He asked. The Lord said, Go up. David asked, Where shall I go? To Hebron, the Lord answered. In the Bible, David asked the Lord, Where should I go? And the Lord told him to go to Hebron. This was quite challenging to David. The Lord is telling him to go the different way from Saul. And he is telling him that you should go to the path where you must go. In our life, there are two paths. The path we want to go and the path we have to go. Of course, if those two matches, it will be the best, but those two are not always the same. So how are they different? The path we want to go is the path of our joy. But the path we have to go does not always have the joy of our life. And we must suffer when we go to that path. However, we must go to that path. For David, which path did he want to go after Saul's death? What path did he want to go to? Of course, because he is a human being. He wanted to be the king of Israel, succeeding the throne of Saul. It was the path that David wanted to go, ruling over the whole Israel. However, God told him to go to the different path from Saul, not Gibeon, but to Hebron. God told him to go to Hebron. He would have been shocked to hear this. And also, when he went to Hebron, there was only one tribe of Israel among 12 tribes of the Israel, and only the tribe of Judah anointed him as the king. And David was quite surprised. This is not the path I want to go, only being the king of the tribe of Judah. However, after that, there were so many incidents that frustrated David. God made David the king of the tribe of Judah, and after that, the Saul's son became the king of other tribes. Second Samuel chapter two verse eight to nine says. Meanwhile, Abner son of Ner, the commander of Saul's army, had taken Ishbosheth son of Saul and brought him over to Mahanaim. He made him king over Gilead, Ashri, and Jezreel, and also over Ephraim, Benjamin, and all Israel. How would he have felt? He might have felt betrayed. God anointed David as the king of Judah. Because he was anointed by the Lord that he could overcome the threat of Saul trying to kill him. And he would have strongly believed that he will succeed the throne after Saul's death. 
that he overcame all those difficulties. However, even though Saul had died, God made him only the king of the tribe of Judah, and he led Ishbosheth became the king of other tribes of Israel. He must have been felt betrayed and shocked and frustrated. However, even though there was a path that he clearly wanted to go, but he did not choose that path, but he chose the path that God let him go. God told him, God told David to go to the different path from Saul. God made him go to Hebron. Second Samuel chapter 2 verse 2 says, So David went up there with his two wives, Ahinoam of Jezreel and Abigail, the widow of Nabal of Carmel. Yes, David did not choose the path that he wanted to go, but he chose the path that God told him to go. He obeyed the words of the Lord. So David went to the path that he had to go. He went to Hebron, and he stayed there seven and a half years. However, for those seven and a half years, those times were not meaningless. Through that time, David became the true king of Israel. In our lives, there are times that we cannot understand, like the seven and a half years of David. However, when we go through that times, we must acknowledge God's sovereignty, and we must know that we must choose the Lord's path, the path we have to go. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Before David became the king of whole Israel, he, he said this, his, how he felt in Psalms chapter 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your road and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Psalm of David means the guide, guidance of the Lord. In other words, even though he was going through the seven and a half years of the time that he cannot understand the will of God. He trusted the Lord even though he was going through the times that he cannot understand the Lord. However, David believed that there is a guidance of the Lord in his life and his what he understood is written in this psalm of David. We must decide to go to the path that we have to go. His protection and guidance will be with us. So you and I must choose the path that we have to go, not the path we want to go. We must be there where the Lord wants us to be. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Father God, we give thanks to you for letting us realize the message of yours through the life of David. When we live in this world, let us not choose the path we want to go, but let us choose the path we have to go. Let us decide our hearts with your guidance. 
when we decide our heart, please protect us and let us experience your guidance in our lives. And when we pray, please listen to us and let our decisions be strong and let the Holy Spirit be with us. We give thanks to you and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When we praise, please stand up and let us sing together. Let us remember the words of the Lord and pray in unison. Father God, let us not proceed the will of yours and let us try our best to 
not proceed the will of yours and let let us only obey your will and let us decide our hearts not to go to the path we want but let us go to the path we have to go Father God please guide us please guide our heart and our thoughts let us remember the words of the Lord and let us pray in unison Lord Lord Lord
Let us pray in unison again for Jesus Christ to change our lives, to let go of all the weaknesses in our lives, and for all our prayers to be answered by Jesus Christ, our Savior. Let us pray with the faith that we believe in Jesus Christ, who is alive. Let us pray in unison, Lord, Lord, Lord. 우리의 삶의 모의 사랑을 함께 하시는 그 성령님의 역사를 우리가 믿어 의심치 않습니다 하나님 우리와 함께 하여 주시옵소서 우리 연약함 가운데 함께 하여 주시옵소서 우리 연약함을 널 받으시고 우리 연약함 가운데 함께 하시옵소서 우리 연약함 가운데 함께 하시는 그 하나님을 바라보는 그의 삶의 주님도 주님이 도와여 주시옵소서 또 하나님 
Let us remember the Lord's words. Father God, we rely on to you, and we acknowledge your sovereignty, and we give all our life to you. And we decided not to proceed your will of the Lord. Please lay your hands on your chest and decide your heart not to go to the path we want, but to go to the path we have to go. If you have sick parts, lay your hands on your sick parts. And if your family is sick, lay your hands in instead of your family member. And lay your hands with faith. And let us pray. Father God, we give thanks to you for making us realize your message. And let us not proceed the will of yours. And let us seek your wills as the children of yours. Father God, also let us not pursue the joy of the world, but let us pursue the path of yours that we have to go. Let our decisions be strong and please guide us in our lives and let our decisions not be shaken in the world. Father God, let us choose you over the world and let us choose yours, not the worldly matters. And Father God, we have laid our hands on our sick parts. Let all of them be healed by the power of Jesus Christ. Let them be free from all diseases. I order in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all diseases, all darknesses will go away, will go away from our bodies. Only the work of the Lord will be shown in our lives. Those who lay their hands instead of their family members, their family will be healed by the power of Jesus Christ. Their weaknesses will go away. Their diseases will go away. Their family will be recovered. All the evils in their lives and families will go away. Father God, with the faith that we believe you are alive, let all of them be answered with their prayers. the prayers for their family, for their business, and for their whole lives. Let them be answered. Father God, we give thanks to you for answering all our prayers. And we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us give a round of applause to the Lord who answers all our prayers. And now we will pray once again. Listen to me for a moment. What is your life? You are a morning mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. There is no better blessing than believing in Jesus Christ in your short life. Wherever you are, if you want to believe in Jesus Christ, decide your heart and stand up. Lay your hands on your chest and repeat after my prayer. Your confession of faith will change your life. Let us pray. Father God, I am a sinner. I do not know where I'm from, why I live. I do not know where I'm going. I have lived in sins. You died on the cross for my sins. I received Jesus Christ who resurrected as my personal Savior. I have become the child of God. I will live for you from now and forever. In Jesus' name I prayed. Hallelujah. We welcome you in the name of the Lord. Now let us give offerings with joy and gratitude. Father God, our good Lord, we give thanks to you for letting us have this wonderful day to gather at your chapel to give worship service to you. Father God, let us feel the joy of walking with you all the time 
and let us to love the relationship between you and us. We have prepared our offerings with gratitude. Please guide our heart through the Holy Spirit. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Last Friday, there was a welcome ceremony for all 
of the ministries and youth gospel. Those newcomers to adjust well. I want the leaders to take care of them well, and I want let I want them to lead a great spiritual life here. There is a early morning prayer meeting from November nineteenth for Thanksgiving and blessing of the children. I want all of you to wrap up the year with gratitude. And I will pray for the offerings and give the benediction. Father God, we give thanks to you for letting us have this wonderful day to give worship service to you through this service. You have given us the new decisions. You always love us through our lives. And we give thanks to you for letting us experience the great love of yours. We have given our offerings. Let these be used for your kingdom. And please bless the giving hands hundredfolds and thousandfolds. Please guide us and bless us. Now, may the abandoned grace of Jesus Christ, the everlasting love of our Father, the rich blessings and fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all the congregations who have decided not to proceed the will of the Lord as David and those who chose to go to the path they have to go forever. Amen. It had been a pleasure to minister to you today in this service. This is Unjung, your interpreter for this service. Thank you for coming today and God bless you.
광고 드리겠습니다 청장년국 힐링캠프가 회장단과 총무단, 지구역장 대상으로 11월 19일부터 20일까지 소노벨 비발디 파크에서 진행됩니다 이번 주 수요 예배는 한국교회 총연합회 주최로 위로와 회복의 예배로 드려집니다 추수와 감사의 11월을 맞이하여 감사 나눔 2022 캠페인을 진행합니다 감사키티 365 앱을 통해 풍성한 감사의 고백과 은혜를 나눠주시길 바랍니다 2023학년도 대학 수학 능력시험 수능 기도회가 11월 17일 목요일에 대성전에서 있습니다 매 주일 예배 시 제2교육관 주차장 지하 1층에서 지하 3층까지는 영유아 동반 성도 전용으로 대성전 지하 3층 주차장은 세가족 전용 주차장으로 운영되어 오니 양보해 주시길 바랍니다 오늘 결신한 분들을 위한 세가족 환영회가 베들레헴 성전에서 있습니다 온라인 세가족 분들은 교회 홈페이지 및 모바일 앱으로 등록 및 교육에 참여하실 수 있습니다 다음은 청장년구 구호제창이 있겠습니다 모두 자리에서 일어나 주시기 바랍니다 청장년구 구호 준비! 한 사람의 예수님을 믿음으로 행복한 청장년구 아멘! 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 